You like our voice? It turn you on? This ain't shit. Wait till you see it on Patreon. That's right. Our Patreon is so lit. We're going to have Harry After Dark, our Be For Reals on there. Make sure you tune in to subscribe. Please. We have our own Patreon group where you can come talk to us and tell us what you want to hear on our podcast. All that good stuff. Yo. And it's only $5 a month. $5 a month. Go ahead and come over, to the, the, come over to the Heroes and Hoochie side, yeah. okay? Come fuck with the winning team. I want Happy New Year, y'all. Uh, happy New Year. Happy fucking New Year. We know y'all missed us. We missed y'all too. Miss yes. Pot and all that good stuff. We missed y'all. Some real niggas just needed, you know, a little break. A little break. The break, break did me some justice. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. The break was very nice. nice and then, you know nice. what? I'm also like, we some funny ass broads. Bitches. Funny ass black big bitches. Funny ass females. <laughs> 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 You know, I said like, we funny as fuck. All them clips Dennis post, I was like, oh yeah, we, we funny as fuck. Hell yeah, you ain't lying. I was like, oh, you know what? We do be making niggas laugh. And you know what? I'll be like, damn, I really did be letting the, I really let the clip. Oh yeah, you let the chopper sing. I, I really be telling my. Hey, somebody got to do it. Hell yeah, ain't my ain't no nigga finna tell my business first. <laughs> I know that goddamn way. You gonna tell it before they yeah, do? Yeah, I, 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 I eat ass. I what, ain't, what else? I ain't mad at it. Oh, okay. I thought so. Yeah, I thought I thought a bitch that don't eat ass said okay. something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so real quick, I um we were sitting on the couch and I was like, I wanna hit Suki up to see when she comes out here for MLK Day and uh-huh. she'll come talk to us. So I was ch- I was y'all know I'm bad at words. So <laughs> I I trusted chat gpt to craft me an email right okay so i was like but make it sound urban you ready for the urban oh lord hey sukiana what's good we're hoping this email is fine you in a zone and killing it not in a zone and killing it <laughs> we're reaching out from here from here you podcast and we gotta say we're ride or die fans of the of your hustle our podcast is making waves in the dallas area <laughs> I put in here some. I put in here some of our stats. Ooh, Chat GPT is racist. Yeah, you heard that right. We're making noise. <laughs> <laughs> Make some noise, y'all. What the fuck? <laughs> We're all about the real urban vibe, <laughs> and your energy will be the perfect fit. <laughs> <laughs> We're itching to chat. We're itching to chat. No, itching. itching to chat with you about your latest project. Our loyal following can't get enough, and you know they love to hear your story. Let's link up and make an, this interview legendary. Hit us back and let us make this podcast magic happen. Stay on top. <laughs> Y'all, this racist gonna be. <laughs> And meanwhile, all we need to say is, hey, Suki. How are you? We love you. You got any time wherever you come to Dallas? We would love for you to come and join us on the couch. Yeah, look at that for a little bit. We don't want much. Not all that stay on top and uh, we're making waves. I thought it'd be a few like girls and maybe I should have said black urban girl. Yeah. Or maybe you should have left the urban out. You should have <laughs> said black girl. <laughs> But even then, it might have said like something about, oh, our black skin would love to. I bet you if I type black urban girls going to say something with queen in it. Oh, I, no, it's gonna say sis. Definitely gonna say sis. Hold on. Black urban voice. Let me see if I see a sis. Well, let me see your prompt. I wrote, I wrote one post too. Hip hop rapper, Sukiyana. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now you make me sound racist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chat GPT said, hold on now. <laughs> I don't know how to talk in that voice. Hold on. Use a black urban Oh, it just says black urban. Oh, you, oh, you, okay. Use a black urban voice. Copy. Okay. While I'm doing it, hold on. No, use a black urban voice. Okay. Shit. You got to be talking right for Jet TBT to know what you're talking about. Shit. Uh, I think the urban is what's doing it. Let's what's good? Chop it up. What's good, queen? <laughs> Not <laughs> exclusive chat in the big D. What's good, queen? I told you. Hope this message finds you vibing high. Oh my gosh, that sounds like a nigga. It sounds like one of them. Been riding with your beat since day one. <laughs> it sounds like, oh, uh, so what's You it? got a freestyle. Bro. Yeah, w- don't stop, get it, get it. <laughs> don't stop, nigga, hit it. I will. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. <laughs> do it. This do bitch it, was it. dancing in ballet from Juilliard, and you mean to tell me? <laughs> bro. She at the top hip hop cl- hip hop club. Bro, let's. You I'm know what? Wait. I feel like my, 
for 2024, uh-huh. I am collecting all of my apologies. What you mean? I'm collecting apologies from everybody. What you mean? From the creators of Honey, we need an apology. Damn. Not from the creators of The Last Dance, we need an apology. I ain't gonna lie. I used to love American cr- Girl Doll. I'm still on your ass. I loved uh, Say the Last Dance when it came of out. Of course you did. <laughs> Look at this, inter- this interracial youth yes. learning how to dance in the and face they of tragedy. Really, they really made us believe that that white girl could dance. And hey. she over there. Fam, when, you, when she was in a chair handing out her pussy, remember she did that? <laughs> <laughs> you get some pussy. You get some pussy. And nigga, I ain't forgot about you. <laughs> girl, and they had Simon Cow down there. Bravo. I'm like, the bitch failed. Like, she should automatically be disqualified, honestly. <laughs> she should have to facts. come back next year and, and apply. Facts. I'm like, wow. Like and y'all the, would do us. And her sister hated her. Because <laughs> she clocked her. Girl. You're some rich little white girl. You coming to our hood and steal our men. Derek's going to be a doctor. Girl. She clocked her. So I had ass movie. It was great back then. It was an apology. Fam, I, ain't gonna, I left the movie. I was dancing in the aisle. <laughs> You was one of them, huh? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, remember, he, ass down. remember he did that to her? <laughs> this nigga challenged her. <laughs> Big old monkey nigga challenged her. <laughs> <laughs> and we sat there like, ooh, ooh, what's she gonna do? It's real love. What's she gonna do? <laughs> the same way. And goddamn love and basketball. Man. That play for your heart shit. Hell, and then nigga dunked on her. <laughs> Had his highest scoring game on her. <laughs> nigga, this nigga scored 130 points. Girl. Over. Dunked the hunt, everything. Man, that's believing that that. Y'all owe us an apology too. Facts. Facts. It's some apolo- y'all, it's some apologies out there around. that are old. <laughs> Nigga dunked on her. <laughs> you know how embarrassed I'd be if I tell a nigga, first of all, why the fuck would I do that? Play for I'm, your heart. Play for your heart. And then the nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and palm my shit. <laughs> <laughs> nigga blocking my shit. <laughs> fuck out of here. Fuck you and your heart. <laughs> the nigga kick the ball. <laughs> you fuck out of here. <laughs> he pulled a knife out and deflated. Girl, what's that movie where the, uh, the little kid was winning and he got mad and shot him? <laughs> Bro, what movie is that? I want to say Juice. I can't remember, <laughs> but the kid was like 12 and he was like a basketball prodigy. And he was whooping this nigga ass. Like, dunked on him, broke his ankles and everything. The nigga got mad. <laughs> and put, shot him? Put his gun out and shot him on the court. It is not funny. Bro, you asked the nigga to play for his heart. Did he do that? Did he shoot you? <laughs> he might do that anyway. Y'all. It's really fucked out here. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy work out here. Ooh, it's nasty work. <laughs> Ooh. Damn. <laughs> Damn. That's fucking wild. Like I said, I'm collecting all of my apologies all 2024. Y'all got me fucked up. <sighs> Shit. People owe me apologies. Corporations, too. <laughs> Y'all owe me. Hi. Say sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are my favorite thing to say to niggas. Say sorry. Say sorry. <laughs> say sorry. Right now. Well, niggas be saying it too. Hell yeah. I'm sorry. Sorry, Tan. Yeah, I'm sorry, Tan. All right. You good. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You got your song. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> okay. All right. You ready? Mm-hmm. <sighs> <laughs> this money taking me places. Places I haven't been. I know this. Ever since I got acquainted with that boy, Benjamin Franklin. Maybe I don't know this. The niggas were sleeping on me till I made them come up, up out their blanket. I don't know this. They say it costs to be the boss. Okay, somebody show me what they paying, what I've been paying. Run up a check on these niggas. I lost respect for these niggas. Oh, I would have Because when I was down on my ass, ain't none of y'all check on me, nigga. You a good one. I would have never gotten that. No, 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 I would have got no, that. <laughs> Can't, Can't fuck with you. you. No more, no more. Yeah. I had to get to that bed. I had to get to that door. You would have had to say that. <laughs> you would have had to get to the New set. Year's resolution by Lil Ronnie. Oh, that's Lil Ronnie? Yep. Yeah, that's Lil Ronnie. Oh, that's right. I thought it was, oh, shit. I had to get to that money, nigga. Oh, I had to get that guala, 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 guala. Yeah, okay, shit. 20s to 50s to 100s, nigga. That was a time. Woo. 
I yeah, love Miss Ronnie. Ronnie was be uh, Ronnie. We've been trying to call you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now y'all be mean to a nigga. We've been trying to get with your little milk dud head yeah, ass, milk yeah, dud head, head ass. ass. <laughs> <laughs> Throw your ass in a hurdle set. Damn. Okay. You fine now. All right. Cool. Um, what? No, I'm gonna do mine. Oh, okay. Nah, uh, it sounds like that ignited something in you. Mm-mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, she on a she on a pole trick doing tricks. Make your whole nigga trick if you broke nigga quit. Her legs is that the uh, nasty song? Was married but now they divorced. No, her legs was married now they divorced. Yeah, them hoes do the splits. <laughs> well, you want BG. this? Be fucking for real. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you want this D? Well, baby girl, I'm about to blitz. I don't know what the fuck that you is. You out on the floor. You out on a pole, but girl, came to that on my uh. Okay, go on and fill it then. I don't know. Then go and get a friend. Go to my crib. That's where I live. Just put a pole up in there then. When I put this uh in your uh, I say excuse yo, cause I know it might fart. <laughs> Throw that ass in a circle. Oh, like a pot. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's oh. Cool. Yeah. That was your song? Yes. Girl, I, swear to God, I swear to God, it was Lil Ronnie, too. <laughs> oh, Fuck out wow. my head. What are the odds? <laughs> Ronnie. I feel, I feel like this is the second or third time we've done that, like pick similar songs before. I, so. I feel like one time we picked the same song. I think we did pick the same song once, mm-hmm. but yeah. We wow. picked some of artists before. That's crazy. Yeah. What are the odds, bro? I mean, it's meant to be. Damn, I didn't know he said all that on Throw That Ass in a Circle. Well, and I didn't realize a lot of people other, said other things, too. And I was like, well, shit, she may not get the other part. Because if, if I had started off, uh, I like naked women. Yeah. And that's a naked truth. So yeah. I was like, that's too easy. Yeah, I would have got that part. Yeah. Not I, that other part. I wouldn't got it either. But. <laughs> <laughs> Crying. Hey, best friend. Ain't it a blessing? You are listening to another episode of Hear You Podcast. This is Tan. And this is B. You ready to get started, bro? Let's go. Hey, let's get it. All right, so you ready to get started in the sequel with the shit? Let's go, y'all. We ain't got nothing but topics this week. Look, we you know, catch up. we catching up on our time, our little break. Mm-hmm. So just sit back, enjoy the topic, oh, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's start off with, let's do a hundred rounds. Okay. Gypsy Rose. White. <laughs> Teeth. Damn, I was going to say that. You better not. What? Yeah, I, I feel like I know what you about to say. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, surgery. <laughs> um, princess. What did you think I was going to say? Wheelchair. It was the tip of the tongue. <laughs> <laughs> it was the tip of the tongue. I, I was like, this girl finna say wheelchair. It was at the tip of the tongue. Cause shit, I, I really don't, I really don't know much about the Gypsy Blanchard case uh-huh. or story. I know kind of little bits and pieces, but I never watched the documentary or nothing like that. Okay, so I've seen several documentaries on Gypsy Rose. Not several. Yeah, no, I have, and then I watched the show, The mm-hmm. Act. So, so you're an expert witness, basically, at this uh, point. I wouldn't say all that. Okay. <laughs> I would not say all that, but okay. I know a little something about Gypsy Rose now. Uh-huh. Okay, so Gypsy Rose, she was a child. Her mother suffered from Munchausen's by proxy, uh-huh. which is basically like where you're like this super hypochondriac. Mm-hmm. But since it was by proxy, the mama didn't think nothing was wrong with her. She forced all of her beliefs onto her daughter. Mm -hmm. So she made her daughter believe, one, that she was wheelchair bound. She couldn't walk. Mm -hmm. She made her daughter believe that she had cancer. Mm -hmm. She had her daughter's teeth removed. Um, She had several different surgeries, none of which she needed. Mm -hmm. She had a feeding tube. She shaved her head. Um, Was she like a -a make-a-wish kid, too, or something? Yes, she Mm -hmm. was a -a make-a-wish kid. And she was also a Habitat for Humanity gave her a house. Oh, damn. Uh, her car was donated to her. She was a completely healthy kid. Uh-huh. Um, she refused for Gypsy to like see her father. Uh-huh. So once Gypsy got a little bit older, you know, Gypsy was very much like her mom kept being like, oh, you can't do this. And oh, you can't do that. And you're too sick. And uh-huh. you're too sick. 
she had on all sorts of like pain medications, cancer medications, all sorts of stuff. Mm-hmm. Really low key, they need to do a study on Gypsy. Mm-hmm. So she gets a little bit older. She uh, gets access to the internet. Mm-hmm. First of all, Gypsy tried to run away, but that was later. Ew. So she gets ab- access to the internet. She meets this guy in the chat room. Mm-hmm. The guy basically convinces her. Like she starts talking to him and confiding in him. And he's like, well, have you ever tried to walk? Mm -hmm. And Gypsy's like, no. She has this very childlike childlike voice. Mm -hmm. So Gypsy's like, no. Oh, and her mama also lied about her age. Mm -hmm. She's actually older than what. I think she thought she was. She thought she was 16, but really she was like closer to 20. Damn. Something like that. Shit. Yeah. Lied about her age. Everything was just a fucking lie. Mm -hmm. Uh, So then Gypsy realizes that she can walk. Mm Mm-hmm. She makes a plan to meet this dude, which his name was like something, John, go to Shauna, something like that. Mm-hmm. She makes a plan to meet up with this guy. Um, and she's trying to like have her like a relationship with him. So they want to have sex and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Her mom is like, oh my gosh, he's a, he's a weirdo and da, 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 stay mm-hmm. away from him. Whoop de woo. So then they make a plan like, okay, well, Gypsy, if your mama ain't going to let you leave, we're going to have to make your mama leave. So who plan was it initially to make her leave? So I think that that's always been a little iffy. Like one doc I watched said that it was his idea. Mm -hmm. And then another doc I watched said it was hers. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. Either way, Gypsy went along with it. Mm -hmm. He came to the house. He stabbed her mama up. Damn. And killed her. Mm -hmm. And also he tried to have sex with her mama's body after he killed her. It's a wild man. Yeah. But Gypsy was like, no, have sex with me instead. That's... And then they ran off. They were with each other. <clears throat> they were with each other. Basically, for, we don't want to abuse it for another one. Yeah, pretty much. Um, but well, I mean, a lot of people say that Gypsy is the one who's the mastermind. Like the mastermind. Man, now she over here <clears throat> getting the feeding tube and you don't even know you can walk. Like, she really used to somebody making decisions for her. Uh, that part. And honestly, like, because Gypsy was sentenced to five years in prison. Mm -hmm. Old boy was sentenced to life without parole. Mm -hmm. A lot of people were saying, oh, you know, Gypsy should have gotten a longer sentence, blah, blah, blah. But Gypsy actually got out December 28th. Mm -hmm. She immediately came out. Gypsy's married. Mm -hmm. And she came out to almost like a little bit of like a celebrity. Mm -hmm. She's got like over 7 million followers on Instagram Mm -hmm. just in the last couple of weeks. A lot of people really, really wanted to hear from her, you know, wanted to hear like, how she's doing. Mm-hmm. A lot of people feel like she's like a, a lot of people feel like she's a victim, mm-hmm. which personally I do. Yeah. Same. I think she's a victim. And I know that don't get me wrong. It's very wrong. It's wrong to kill anybody. It's even more wrong to kill your mama. Mm-hmm. But I do feel like if that hadn't happened, Gypsy would still be in a wheelchair. Possibly. Yeah. I feel like that was like, I don't say bound to happen, but it was like the most likely outcome. Yeah. Cause I'm saying a mama convinced physicians <laughs> to put feeding tubes and all the other shit. So, so her mama I'm, was powerful. Yeah, I'm sure her mama could, could know what to say to her and stuff like that. It's kind of crazy. But then I seen one of her first like tweets or whatever. It was like, don't let them talk shit about you, baby. I love that D. And I was like, oh, Gypsy, oh, a, yeah. a freak. Because people in the comments were talking about her husband, uh-huh. which personally, I do think that Gypsy probably should have spent some time by herself being free. Uh-huh. Because like you said, she's all, I think she's just really used to somebody mm-hmm. making decisions for her. Mm-hmm. Like even whenever she was in jail, somebody was making decisions for her. They were telling her when to go to bed. Yeah, You know, they're telling her when, you know, oh, it's wreck time, mm-hmm. whatever. Mm-hmm. So I do think she should have spent some time by herself. Uh-huh. But her husband gives me weird vibes. Oh, he definitely gives me. He looked like he looked one and the same. I ain't gonna lie, she like he ain't letting go of Gypsy. Yeah, they both they both look like fucking weirdos. <laughs> I'm not, I like and I I give Gypsy grace, but she look like a fucking weirdo too. Like she <laughs> she a couple eggs out of a dozen. Like she look a little strange, and I don't know if it's the teeth or just it the wouldn't appearance. Wouldn't she be strange? I probably would be. And then you have next, uh, yeah, she that bitch a little strange. Yeah, uh, yeah. Shit, if I was Gypsy, she, I'd be fucking strange too. She looked like what she went through. This is a fact. <laughs> <laughs> she looked like what she went through. So I mean, I can see it. Yeah, I, I can, can very much see it. I can definitely see it too. And I feel like her husband was probably some like Admire. true crime fan Young junkie who just reached out to her. Mm-hmm. Didn't really know if like anything was gonna come of it, but then once he saw his like chance uh-huh. to get in there, mm-hmm. he was like, "Oh yeah, <laughs> in there, that's mine." Yeah. 
I do think that's so. my little crazy ass. I love him. <laughs> I love that's my, my little crazy ass yeah. murderer. Yeah, I'm gonna stick beside her. <laughs> you think it'd be different if Gypsy had actually killed her mama herself? I I don't know. I mean, because I I think they did the her lawyers did a really good job of making her seem like the victim, which I feel like she was. So mm-hmm. I feel like maybe they could have swung it as a self defense. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But definitely bringing your nigga in to kill some your mom will a little frowned upon. So you yeah, know. I felt like she probably had a better chance of arguing self defense had she did some. I mean that's true too. I think personally because you know they say that like he's got his own mental health issues and stuff the like boyfriend? that. Yeah, the boy who killed her mama. Uh-huh. So I think personally where he he just took it too far trying to have sex with her mom's body like that's <laughs> that's, where, that's where he took it too far <laughs> that, that's that's where you draw the line i I ain't, gonna, I, I ain't gonna lie i just feel like what what other option did gypsy have uh, uh, i don't, don't want to say that murder is an option that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying is what other option did she have what is the difference between gypsy and a young girl who is being sex trafficked and has to kill her sex trafficker. Sometimes murder is your only alternative. And then where's Dr. Umar? <laughs> Sometimes you got you got to lay him down. You got to put him to sleep. Some people got to be euthanized, like too far gone. I'm t- if you're not gonna get out of my way, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I <laughs> I definitely don't want to seem like we just, oh yeah, kill them all. But like, <laughs> no, that's not what I'm saying. Well, she was in a fuck up situation. Yes, and like, if your situation will not move, mm-hmm. like I said, Gypsy tried, tried to, to run away. It. Yeah, but did she? She did. Did she? she? She did she know she could walk at that point? Yeah. Oh, okay. But she knew she could walk, but she was continuing to use the wheelchair while her mom moved. But Gypsy uh, would walk at night. So what? Why couldn't she run away the first time? Because her mama caught her. But how'd she catch her, though? She saw Gypsy trying to leave out the front door and mm-hmm. ran after her. And she locked her in or something? Yeah, okay. and she actually uh, handcuffed her to the bed. Oh, damn. So she kidnapped her. Damn. Yeah. That's why I'm like, what? Well, how many? And Gypsy had to beg her mama to let her out of the handcuffs. They used to do a, a Gypsy Blanchard musical. <laughs> I ain't watching that shit. She had it coming. <laughs> She had it coming. It was just to get she out only the had herself to blame. <laughs> and, when, <laughs> and John Gunn Jones back there. Hey. Hey. <laughs> 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 I just hit back with a knife and Gypsy rolling him. She had it coming. She had it coming. <laughs> and I'm going to check all of it. Y'all turn everything else into a fucking musical. It might as well. well. <laughs> The Gypsy Blanchard story. <laughs> musical. The musical. <laughs> from it, it from all, victim to triumph. It all, it all rhymes. <laughs> that would piss me off. You, I ain't watching that. <laughs> Do you remember Carmen the Hip Hop Tra- on MTV? <laughs> Girl, do I. Oh, the joys. I, I love that movie, Low Key. They really tried to make Beyonce a little actress child. They tried. Cause we ain't gonna forget about obsessed. Oh. I just feel like Beyonce. I don't know why <laughs> you keep looking at my husband. I feel like, I feel like Beyonce is Beyonce in everything she plays. She is, <laughs> baby. I know you had a long day. At work. Even this Edda, she was Beyonce. <laughs> huh? Like, all right, all right, B. Okay. Yeah. Um. I just I'm gonna sing the song. See. <laughs> I'm gonna sing this. Song. Still sound like Beyonce, like girl. No, for real. Uh, we know it's you, but I, good. I love it. You're, you're incredibly talented, but that ain't it. You bring the star power. Yeah, like, that's a, that's a fact. Let that's her play. A talent within the song. Let her play it. Hell, it's mm-hmm. Beyonce. Fuck. Yeah. Let her play it. Be. It don't matter. Oh, uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Uh, she definitely has her own, and and I feel her after this. You don't capitalize on all that shit. Do all the interviews. Write the books. Sell the shirts. She might as well. So like it's people so- have been interested in her story for a very mm-hmm. long time. There have been so many documentaries. There's been so many. There's a TV show. Where that money went? The no. TV show made money. Everybody. Well, everybody but you. Everybody has seen the act. Oh <laughs> yeah. Everybody's seen it. Where the money from the show go? 
Shit, maybe they had like any a, proceeds go to to uh, Gypsy's books. You know, I feel like when they're in prison and they're giving interviews, I feel like they cannot get paid for stuff like that. So maybe they had a little trust set up for her. I so. hope so. I, I mean, because five five years ain't that long. So if I know I'm doing okay. five, like you said, me, y'all do the interview, but I need someone on the back end, right? So when I get out here, I ain't got two fifty in the yeah, bus pass. So I get out here, I ain't got to do nothing strange. Hey, I ain't got nothing but my prisoner ID. <laughs> which is a legal ID and state of, you know wherever you're from because honestly and truthfully I don't know what I'd do if I go in Trader Joe's and Gypsy the cashier yeah I don't know Casey, like, girl, I mean Casey Anthony up here free girl fuck her I don't know what she looked like if I saw her but no, me either to be honest you know, fuck her. I'm sure somebody would know her hell yeah like we, we can't expect for Gypsy to just go get a regular job you don't think so no she can't Girl, she's got 7 million followers on Instagram. I mean... Wherever Gypsy works is going to be a problem. Oh, yeah. I can see it. Good and bad. Yeah. A lot of people going to call her a murderer. Yeah, and, and there's going to be other people who are trying to stone the ones calling her a murderer. Ain't she a felon? Yeah. Oh, she's the same felon treatment then. No, she better not get no apartment. <laughs> <laughs> they make felons wait seven years for that shit. She probably bought a house. Maybe she's in that Habitat house still. <laughs> Girl, I doubt it. That house was wheelchair like enabled. <laughs> yes. It had <laughs> ramps everywhere. I was like, have you ever she could roll into the tub? Have you <laughs> my my house used to be wheelchair accessible. <laughs> like for my granddaddy. And so <laughs> I would just be I would roll my skateboard down a ramp. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, the people who over there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We that built, ain't what that shit for. Built this for him. Like a wheelchair like a wheelchair accessible house is kinda wild. Ain't gonna lie. We got uh, the knobs at the bottom. The knob and like the cabinets you open in some way. Yeah. And then the handlebars on the tub. Like shit is kind of actually really wild. Like yeah. how you make accommodation. But you shit, you do what you gotta do. I remember when I was looking at apartments. They were like, yeah, no, this is a wheelchair <laughs> accessible apart- unit. Uh-huh. I was like, well, I don't need it. Yeah, somebody Save that for, I don't need my, my knobs to be at the front of the stove. <laughs> Put them in the back. <laughs> Save this for somebody. I would hate to see somebody in a wheelchair come rolling by me. Hell yeah. You, <laughs> and I'm in my wheelchair accessible apartment with no they wheelchair. They told me they didn't have no more wheelchair accessible apartments left. You, Take this one. Do you do you feel, do you feel like when people be like, or do you and do you feel in your head, shit. <laughs> do you feel in your head uh-huh. that if you go in a wheelchair accessible apartment, then that's karma putting it out there for yep. That's why I do not park in handicap parking. I don't care how quick. It can be the only parking spot and the mm-hmm. other one is all the way in the back. Mm-hmm. I will go to the back. I'm not parking in a wheelchair accessible. I don't even like using the, the buttons. Huh? You know the ones that swing the door open for you? Yeah. I don't even use them. Oh, I am. Them doors are nasty. Yeah. Half of them you open and open. I'm definitely going. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm pushing it. Damn, that's not a wheelchair accessible thing, no. It has a wheelchair button on it. So you, you use it so much you don't even know. Mm. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it's just they say push here. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it's, that's what they say. <laughs> yep, that's what it say. It's like push. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are we done with Gypsy? <laughs> yeah, we're done with Gypsy. <laughs> well, you're not keeping the color signs. We only. Look, I don't. I don't fuck around. I, I leave those services for people that need it. I don't need it. And pray I never do. Amen. Mm, 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 I ain't mm. never thought about that though. I I've never thought that the automatic doors were for wheelchair accessible. Yeah, they're for, they're for. Well, wheelchair. I mean, I know what it, it, it is, but you know, moms be using it too, and they got you know strollers and stuff. Oh, and, that I understand. Uh, I ain't, I ain't got that either. <laughs> <laughs> True that. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and go over to our next topic. Okay, let's do a hundred rounds. Color purple. Seely. Shug. Shug's pee. <laughs> Squeak. All right. Okay. So, by now, I'm pretty sure everybody has seen the color purple. Mm-hmm. Or at least you've heard things about the color yeah, purple. Yeah, you've heard things about the color purple. The new color purple. Mm-hmm. The musical. I'm actually shocked to see how many people never saw the first one. I'm not, because that's a long-ass movie. It is. It's so good. It's a, it is really good, but you know what's even better than the movie? The book. Mm. And I know, I know, I know niggas ain't read that. I know y'all, 
I know y'all ain't read that Me, book. Me, I am niggas. <laughs> the, I have not read the book. The book is really, really, really good because it goes more in depth about stuff. So the book is really, really good. And I think, I want to say, it's been a while since I read the book, but I want to say in the book, they actually talk about her having, like, making pants and stuff, but you never see that in the original movie. Oh, yeah. You just see her leaving with Suge part and joining that uh her being a unicorn <laughs> that's how you see it really Hell yeah, you ain't lying. so it's like third wheel <laughs> i said boy okay. poor celie man yeah. used as a little rag doll her whole life You're like a toilet hell yeah i just i yeah, a lot of people have it it was actually very shocking to me because i was like you ain't seen the color purple but you want to go see the new one yeah all right. I mean, but I, I get it. It, was, it came out on Christmas. Sometimes that'd be like what people do. Cause yeah. Movies. Especially when to support a black film, too. Right. Mm -hmm. So you saw The Color Purple. Did you like it? I liked it. And it wasn't as it wasn't as a musical as I thought it would be. Like I, yeah. it, it was spaced out enough to where I feel like I got enough. Mm -hmm. I liked it. It was cool. I, I really liked it, too. I went by myself. Uh, I went to Sinopolis. I don't know if I'm saying it right. I went by myself on a Tuesday. Tickets oh, like $5. Oh, yeah, $5. Man, I was so fucked up in there. I ordered me. I had two drinks. Well, I had a drink at the bar and I ordered two drinks inside. Yeah, because Sinopolis do uh, drink specials until close. Happy hour on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. So until 11 o'clock. They I got said, appetizers, everything. App I got appetizers. Uh, I didn't even order no popcorn. I, usually when I go to the movies, I, I, my thing is about popcorn and a Coke. Mm. I had to have that. I ordered truffle. Oh, the truffle fries are amazing. I had that. I didn't finish it. Damn. It was delicious. I was like, yeah, that's, that might be my little, little thing. Girl, we went to Sinopolis too. Mm -hmm. I've been to Sinopolis a few times. Mm -hmm. Personally, I just feel like I don't get proper service at them. Press the thing. Yeah, I, I just don't get the proper service there. And it'd be pissing me off. Mm -hmm. Our food never came. Are you serious? Food never came. Drinks took forever in a day. Was it packed though? No. Damn. The two people on both sides of us mm -hmm. got their food and drinks. Mm -hmm. And we were just sitting there, and I was just like, I had to leave the movie twice. Huh? To see where your food was? To go ask. I'm like, well, can, can y'all bring drinks or uh -huh. something? Uh -huh. Girl, they tried to bring that food with the check. You know they bring the check like 10 minutes for the movie. Yeah. I was like, the movie's over. Yeah. How we gonna eat it? I'm good. Yeah, I was like, yeah, no, y'all. You even turn the lights on on us, and you be vacuuming while I'm eating, still eating my food. Thank before. you. And everybody else then got to sit back and enjoy their fucking food. And the movie's two hours long. It's a long movie. So you you expect me? Nah, I was like, yeah, no, yeah, take yeah. it off. Yeah, you got it. But either way, I still really really enjoyed the movie. Yeah, I liked it too. Um, Sierra threw me off, and her, listen, <laughs> Sierra threw me for a loop too. I ain't gonna lie. And her is fucking Clark Kent. Cause I almost forgot it was I. I didn't even really fucking like. I heard her talk. I saw her. I was like, she looked familiar. <laughs> she looked like somebody. She always wearing them damn glasses. That's what I'm saying. I'm head ass, take them head ass glasses off. She's a beautiful girl, and I don't. Yeah. I don't know if it's the see a mistake, and she wants to focus on her. Eye. At first, I thought she had a lazy eye, <laughs> but her eyes look good. You thought she had them, uh, them little John eyes. Little John lazy eye. Girl, little John eyes like that. Not that cocked. Like a pistol. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Rick Ross, not too bad, not too far behind. I can't talk. I'm a little cock too. <laughs> I, I got angles, but I, 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 I did not know it was her until I, I remember. I was like, oh, her's supposed to be in the movie. And she's supposed to be squeak. I don't even remember her singing really in the movie. I know. Oh yeah, no. Once I heard her voice, I was like, oh yeah, that is her. Well, her and her voice, I was like, oh yeah, that's yeah, that's her. But I, I really wish she stopped wearing them glasses because i low-key think she might be doing herself a disservice with that shit for nobody to recognize you and maybe that's what she wanted maybe she maybe she wanted to walk through target on a saturday and not be disturbed i mean i yeah i guess you are right i was just like damn she's like a totally different person and she was so unmemorable in the movie squeak first of all i she did what needed to be she did her part squeak is not squeak had a major part in the movie but squeak wasn't a major you know what I'm saying? She wasn't a major part of the whole thing. Squeak came in at down at the end anyway. I mean, she did, but even still, it was like, uh, I don't know. And I'm like, Hallie over there hiding that pregnancy and that big dress. The Hallie, whole time. Hallie did what needed to be done. I respect it. Hallie, Hallie did. Because I think, I think that may be my next way I announce a pregnancy. Just the baby here. Yeah, the baby on a podcast. <laughs> Well, yeah, I did something. You ain't even got to do that. I did a thing. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> don't don't bring the baby on the podcast. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I'll, I'll, I'll pop out like so. Like, I don't know if I would tell people either. 
Yeah, no. Because I, I respect it, too, to be honest. And everyone knew. Everybody knew. Were we talking about that? No. Okay. No. Everybody e- knew. Everybody knew, but I also respect it for the simple fact that this was one of the biggest years for uh-huh, her. Uh-huh. And y'all not finna take the focus off, off of the that. color purple little or the Little Mermaid. Facts. You not finna take the focus off either one of those things for me. Yeah, I got two things going on. I'm gonna do every doll. All, yeah. all of it. I got three. Two of them you need to know about. But I knew. <laughs> when I seen her getting up. Oh, girl. I was like, oh, she was like, when she, they show, when he would accidentally I show stuff. be live streaming, live streaming, and then the baby screaming yeah. back on. Yeah, a newborn to cry. Like, a, yeah, that sounds like a puppy. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm like, like oh. I, I get it. It's fine. His like, name is cute. Halo. Yeah, I was like, oh, I know she got up. I was like, oh, yeah. So oh, yeah. She's a little sore. Mm-hmm. It's cute, though. And I, I respect that no one in their family, like, exposed yeah, them. It was him accidentally it. exposing shit and stuff yeah. like that. But I, I appreciate Everybody kind of kept that low key and all that stuff. So yeah, no, I agree with that one thousand percent. I don't, I don't mind it. Hallie was very good in the movie. So was uh, Young Seely. Yeah, Young Seely, eight. Okay, this may be. Fantasia was okay. <gasps> what? How? Fantasia. Fantasia slid as Seely. She sung as Seely. I just don't. I feel like the acting was cool. Fan, for someone who is illiterate, Fantasia did uh, that. Fam, you cannot. Can, Fantasia has a college degree now, <laughs> and she's a zayda. Girl, when I, when I, when I, honorary. When I was in the movie, <laughs> when I was in the movie, I was like. She is doing really good to not be able to read. And <laughs> you're the bars in hell. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, I'm playing. No, Fantasia did that, bro. Fantasia <sighs> did that. Okay. She did that. I okay. thought she played very well. Okay. I thought she played very, very well. I I felt like it. I I feel uh, like Fantasia's an SG row. Ooh, yo, y'all gonna, y'all gonna kill me, ain't y'all? <laughs> ain't that a pretty poodle? They gonna stone you. That's the po- pretty poodles, though, right? Okay, yeah, okay. I knew, I knew it was blue. They, they gonna stone you. Look, I, I ain't, the, I ain't pledge. I, stop saying. I ain't throw no signs though. Yeah, don't do that. But, um, I'm just like, I can't believe you thought Fantasia was just okay. Fantasia gave. Okay, I saw it. I was like, oh, that's Fantasia. Of course. So when you saw Suge and said that's Taraji, I didn't. I felt like Taraji embodied Suge to me. I felt like, but I, when I saw Fantasia, I was like, but Taraji is. Fantasia, remind, remember the Fantasia movie on Lifetime? Mm-hmm. That's what I got. I got young Fantasia. And it was, I'm not saying she did bad, but I'm saying I got Fantasia. So nobody, y'all don't feel the same way? You felt you, you felt like Fantasia slid? I felt like Fantasia did an amazing job. Didn't you too? Did you watch it too? Did you? You thought Fantasia did a good job? I, th- I didn't say she did a bad job. I didn't say she did terrible. She was just okay. I don't want to say just okay, but I. <laughs> no. It was a bi- autobiography. No, she didn't have the same life. Fantasia, baby, daddy ain't her, pa- ain't her pa. That's not her. Life. <laughs> she had the same life. That's what she did get. She did get touched. This is true. And, she, and Celie did learn how to read too. Nettie taught her how to read. I was really waiting on that scene. Mr. You know, uh, it's. No, she <laughs> Apple, A P P L E, egg, E G G, dog, D O G, Mr. I was waiting on that scene. Boy, Mr. had that house shook. Man, on lockdown. Mr. had that house shook, boy. And, and what really, I, I think what I really liked about the film, though, is how they really made Mr. seem like the, out to be a bitch. Oh, yeah. Because in the film, like, you feel like Mr.'s like this this mean ass. And he is mean in that, too, but he feared his daddy. Yeah, he And he, he couldn't did. stay, like, he wasn't, like, he was still a little boy. Like, yep. so, and Harpo was acting the same way and stuff like that. And yep. Suge was his soft spot. And, that, and they they really made I think in the the movie they made Suge seem like a a, f- a freak. No, I'm, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> I thought this was what you been saying. No, like, oh. I well in the movie they didn't they didn't make Suge sound like 
his side, I mean, they there was many hints and stuff, and the daddy called her your, your whore and stuff like yeah. that. But in the movie, they're like, I, uh, they really made it like that's your side. That's who you really in the in the new one. Oh yeah, they really pushed like that's the side woman and all the other stuff. But and, it was just, it, I don't, I didn't get side woman. I just felt like that was Albert's side piece. I just felt like she was always the woman who got away. Uh, I can see that. Yeah, I just felt like Suge was always like that. That's who he really wanted to be with, but she didn't want to be with him like that. She was like, what she even said like I'm an untamable woman. Well, no, I feel like Suge is she you uh different area codes. You know what I'm saying? Like Al, uh, Albert, my my Alabama hell black yeah. snake. Now you know that what I'm not black snake. <laughs> And I got a for a floor a Florida gator yeah. waiting for me as soon as I touch. Like I feel like she had a spot everywhere she went. Yeah. Something like that. I the film was good. I liked it. I, I really, really liked I it. I got Fantasia. Um, but I I, I ain't gonna lie, I, I enjoy mid musicals. I think that's what I like to call them. Like mm. has a touch of singing in there, but not like overly and yeah, all that stuff. Cause I, I ain't gonna lie. I hate musicals and I was a little worried. It was going to be too much goddamn singing for me in uh-huh, this one, uh-huh. but I do feel like it was just right. It, was just it around. wasn't too much. A few of the songs I was like, mm-hmm. okay now. Now Danielle Brooks, that was a goddamn Sophia. Now if we're going to talk about who's acting, that was Sophia. But she's an actress. That, but that is who I believed. I saw Sophia. Like I saw Oprah, <laughs> I I I saw Tasty. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like I felt all like I when I felt her hit that white woman. Like she yeah. was like she played her part. She did. She she definitely ate as well. I I saw <laughs> strong woman. Yeah. <laughs> the way she did man had a harpo and girl. I, so, you know what I'm saying? Like I I really like she played Ooh. her ass off in that. And when she was telling Seely like you be letting him put his hands on you, mm-hmm. I'm like. And when she said I love harpo bad, mm-hmm. but I kill him if he t- put I, his hand on me or something I like that. Felt that Hell boy. Yeah. Cause listen, and she said like, we, we they be fighting each other though. <laughs> Harpo came in there, eyes all yeah. swollen. A mule hit me, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I think grandma said, like, "Grandpa said like that was a big mule." <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was cute. I, I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. Um, I thought it was really good. But then you know, it seemed like a little tense afterwards because you know you feel like this is a a black cast mm-hmm. and it, the Pro production black everything production black and then you see they doing that black ass shit of. You know, not <sighs> not providing them transportation and cars. And- when Taraji said that she was driving herself to set mm-hmm. every day, and someone was like, "What's wrong with that?" I'm like, "Uh, do y'all not see the news in Atlanta? <laughs> How the fuck is it look that Taraji P Henson got robbed? <laughs> <laughs> Stop it to, to set. Yeah, on the way to set. On the way to set. They I stole all of Suge's uh, <laughs> all the costumes. The movie all gotta, of Suge's clothing. The movie got to be pushed back another year. <laughs> Cause all Shug's costumes gone and wigs gone. Like how the And they came from China. Girl, and, nah. And <laughs> somebody gotta wait. And somebody in that in the Atlanta hookah lounge wearing Shug. <laughs> Sister <laughs> A flapper outfit now. <laughs> With a hookah. <laughs> and finger waves. <laughs> they over there. <laughs> hookah. <laughs> you men no mama. <laughs> Like that is wild, bitch. That, that is fucking. That is fucking insane, dog. That's wild. That is, bro. Somebody been in the hookah lounge with a with your costume on. Crazy, <laughs> bro. Damn, that's wild. That's wild, bro. I'm trying wild. to tell you, and that is so. Ridiculous because I'm like I know damn well Oprah had a driver and her driver probably sat there and waited for them to get there. It was a 14 hour day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know what you're saying. So it's a liability. What if she got into a car accident? That part. The movie scraps. That part. The movie's done. Y'all that can't even part. do nothing else. Like, and granted, anything could happen. But like, I I don't know. But she said she almost didn't even take the role because the pay wasn't what it was supposed to be. And I'm just like, that's crazy for the the run Taraji's been on. Mm-hmm. And the work that she's put in, that, mm-hmm. that she still has to like, well, I, 
I don't want a million. Can I just get a little Can I get money? a little something? Yeah, because the way they break it down of how much they actually get, you know what I'm saying? They have to cut, have to turn out other projects to take this on. So maybe this is her one project she did a year and she made 175000 but 30% go off to the, you know, the, or 50 exactly. or something like that. And then the people she got to pay. She got to pay agents. She got to yeah. pay lawyers. She got to pay the... And the way that the the rollout, I will say the rollout for the movie has been great. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody's been looking good. And that ain't free. Girl. That ain't, a, a black woman's glam squad? Like, that's not, and you know who look good every single time they fucking stepped out? Hmm. Goddamn Fantasia. Girl. Fantasia indeed. stepped in every outfit, Fantasia every stop. I don't know who it started. I, don't, I feel like I started Cardi stylists because they, they just don't miss when they step out doing oh, press releases and all. stuff like that. And then hearing all of like the pay discrepancies and stuff like that, mm -hmm. to see Oprah going and passing out color purple Telfars to the damn cast yeah. with movie tickets inside of it to the damn movie that they're all in. Yeah. Bitch, if you don't fucking pay them people. Facts. You ain't no, you ain't, you ain't shook. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I don't want no fucking car. Give me the fucking money. Yeah. Oh, but I, I damn sure I damn sure don't want no damn Telfar. And then I was hungry the whole time I was damn filming. But also on the other side too, I also feel like Oprah got unnecessarily villainized because she's a, she's a producer of the film. She not. I don't in the day to day. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, I, I think we're I think we're um, giving Oprah a lot of. Um, what I can she say, deserve it. What I can say she is, she deserves to be feeling nice. It sounded like Taraji said when she brought it up to her, things changed. So I could see if you bankroll well, on I a project, bring it. But if you bankroll on a project, they don't mean you always there. You produce it, you put money behind it. You but know you, how much money you making? Yeah, cause I, but I'm not, ain't nobody paying. Like I'm the people paying me ain't trying to see my day to day and stuff like that. They don't know what I do day to day. They just pay me. So you think as the the head honcho you don't know nothing that's going on i'm not saying that but oprah ain't the only head honcho and oprah's contribution so far has been financial and contributing to it so as an executive if, producer if her There's other head honchos we need to, to really yeah i'm get sure it. they're below oprah though if oprah mm. is the head honcho and she is uh financing this whole thing you mm. don't think she's signing off on budget I'm I'm sure she's you signing off on something. Budget? I'm not. I'm. You don't think there's a transportation? Budget? I'm sure there's all that stuff, but I'm not sure Oprah's the one that's sitting behind the scenes. Okay, we need. Th we're advocating this much for this. I'm so Oprah just shining the chicks. Hmm. And maybe I'm just giving her too much grace, but I feel like there's that's the word I was looking for. there's definitely more people who I feel like. I don't know. I, but I, as a head honcho, that's just the role that you take on. Mm. Because guess what? If it had been that Taraji was like, oh, my gosh, I have never made this much money off of a film before in my life. Oh, my gosh. The, tramp the transportation was amazing. If uh, Danielle Brooks had said, oh, my gosh, y'all, the food was amazing. We mm. had vegan options. We mm. had... Uh, this option, we had we that had option, pescatarian, yeah. we had halal. Mm -hmm. Then guess who would have gotten all of that praise? Oprah. Yeah. So this is what comes with you being the head name that is behind a movie. Mm -hmm. Whether it's good or whether it's bad, we are all looking at you. That's true. That you're the one who wants to be the executive producer, then you need to executive produce. Well, how? Uh, there is no reason that... Danielle Brooks should have to get on a panel sitting next to Oprah. Uh -huh. And it was clearly that. And honestly and truthfully, I can only imagine the things that we that went on we didn't know about. Yeah. Because Oprah got everybody. And I don't want to say it's like a PR. Because hmm. I don't know if that was part of the pressure on, but it definitely seemed like it was like a, we're going to talk and figure out, you know, what happened and all that other stuff. And I didn't yeah. watch the interview, so I don't know what was said or anything like that. Girl, but, imagine you sitting next to your boss uh -huh. and you tell your boss, I'm sorry, but. There ain't no food over there, y'all. They don't feed nobody. But you're expected to work a 12-hour day. Yeah. Without food. Mm -hmm. Learning I had to door dash. Why, why, does, why should Taraji have to door dash? Yeah. That's wild. And you door dashing and bringing the shit to Tyler Perry Studios. <laughs> Wait, it was done at Tyler I don't Perry? Know. Okay. I <laughs> okay. I was like, I don't Made that up. <laughs> but it probably was, to be honest. But like. Nah, because he would have. I used to send a, a big Georgia peach sign at the end in a TCP. Order. Like literally like that don't make no sense, dog. Yeah. That's, that's, it's pretty wild. Um, considering how much this film is gross too and stuff like that. That's but, what I'm saying. 
It's real. That's wild. It, it is 2024. We should not be having to go to bat for Taraji to get paid fairly. Mm-hmm. We should not have to do that. Because I can promise you Angelina Jolie, I'm yeah. sure she gets paid. More. more. More than her worth. I ain't going to say more than her worth, but. She's getting paid enough to where dollar, she ain't yeah. got to complain. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like. There, there's white actresses. They don't. They don't have to go through this. Yeah. Why do black actresses and even actors have to go through this in mm-hmm. 2024? Yeah, facts. Yeah, it don't make no sense to me. And you know how many black actors and actresses had to return like to nine to five and waitressing and stuff like that during the uh, writer strike and all that stuff and That's working what I'm other saying. jobs and stuff. How many people lost their homes and yeah. everything during mm-hmm. the strikes? Yep. Like, this shit is not okay. And that's what they were all on strike for. Pay me fairly. Yeah. You should... Why Why is a writer being paid a dollar per word that they write? So, in order for me to make a substantial living, I got to write 10,000 words? Yeah, I got to write a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, And I think that they said, like, uh, um, what was it? Three pages equals one minute. Three pages of words equals one minute or something like that. Yeah, it should be moving fast when you're talking and having a conversation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's that's not fair, dog. That's yeah. not fair. People mm-hmm. need to be paid properly for whatever service it is that they are providing. Because at the end of the day, Oprah couldn't play Seeley, uh, Suge, mm-hmm. uh, Sophia. She couldn't play all that shit by herself. Yeah that's true i do i will say i like seeing the cameos in the in there too like the people we didn't even know that was gonna be in there mm-hmm. and stuff like that like uh uh damn sierra no nah. no she was <laughs> on the thing we just forgot she was gonna be in there um oprah i'm not oprah Whoopi goldberg wait where was Whoopi? she was a midwife she delivered uh, Celie's baby. Oh, I must have missed that. That might have been whenever I was going to ask for where, where, oh, where food, food was. was. Yeah, she was the midwife. David Allen Greer, I didn't know he was going to oh, be yeah. in it. He played Suge Daddy, right? Uh-huh, the pastor. Yeah. I can't. It was somebody else. I was like, oh, they in here. It was pretty cool. But. Yeah. Oh, uh, Cora? Oh, yeah, Cora was in there strong. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't know Cora was going to be in there, so. Yeah. It was it was nice. I, it was a good time. I had a really good time watching yeah. it. Yeah, so actually, I would go see it again, to be honest. Would you watch it again? I'm not a watch movie twice type person. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I would go see it. I would see it again. I mean, I, I maybe, <laughs> but it ain't. I just felt like it was cool. I'll watch it at home. Yeah, I would watch it at home. I don't know about going to the theater. Yeah, I don't again. know. Yeah, I do that. So. Yeah. And of course, we saw uh, Boosie complaining, saying he had to walk out. And I don't fucking. Because I, I, when, when I saw that, I'm like, where was the gay scene? I'm like, so you missed it in the first one? Yeah. Well, the first one, it was, I feel like it was more, more, I didn't even know it was a gay scene when I was little. I didn't know that. I thought there was just They two. kissed in the first one. It was a light pick. It wasn't, it <laughs> wasn't, it wasn't tongue, but. They didn't tongue in the second one. That's what I'm saying. Like, but I. They th- still kissed though. I didn't even see them kiss. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, they definitely kissed. It was like a long kiss though, or just like a soft kiss? It was like a, it was like a, I've been waiting to do this kiss. I mean, but she definitely finger banged her in the movie though. <laughs> Facts. She definitely finger banged uh, she her. She definitely got finger banged in the first one. Yeah. I don't, I didn't get any of that in the no. musical. Uh-uh. That There was even anything remotely sexual. I didn't get, I mean, I, you felt tension. You felt sexual tension. Yeah, you could tell that, that I felt, I always felt like Celie and Suge's relationship was for one I felt like she low key liked Suge because Mister did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can see that. And then for two, I felt like Suge was the first person who showed her something that like slightly resembled love. I like, can see first that. First person to show her affection. I yeah, I can see that. I I didn't really feel like a romantic ish. I felt like they loved each other deeply, but Suge's role was like to let her know like. You don't deserve it. Yeah, and you can come. Yeah. Like, you don't got to feel like he's using the bathroom on top of you. Like, this is how you do it. Like, you deserve pleasure. Yeah, it was just more like a, I don't say big sister, but like a, like a freaky ass big sister. (laughs) No, I don't know about big sister. Or like a house mom. Like, the show you the ropes. Yeah. And stuff like how to, to, you know, something like that. I don't know. I I don't want to be finger banged by my big sister. Well, that's why I said freaky. No, that's Stepsister. That's (laughs) That's the... That's one of them categories. That's on the black web. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> but I, I <laughs> but I like I, 
I felt like it was. I don't feel like they were in love with each other. I felt like they loved each other, but it wasn't yeah, like a part. Wasn't that, in love. They, they were gonna skip off and be together. Yeah, it wasn't. I, I didn't get that. It was like you know, you showed me how how to be a woman. Right, and I, I, and it was. It seemed like it was like a. I see why Miss to love you. Yeah, you know, like, a- admiration. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and like I, I kind of want to be like you. He like you. I want him to like me and stuff yeah. like that too. So I can, I can kind of see it. But so. I was just like Boosie, not the, not the same man who said we dyke, they dyking. That's your song. Two yellow bones. I don't remember all the words. Me either. I know they, ki- they die, but they was kissing. They die, and they were doing more than kissing. Well, no, that's how they started. They was kissing in the back seat. Mm-hmm. I. Boosie just Boosie is a walking contradiction. Was like, like, that, that nigga is so he's so silly and stupid. It's funny. I didn't get pushing a, a gay agenda in this. I barely noticed the gay agenda if there Bo- was one. Boosie honestly just needs to leave anything LGBTQIA plus. It never alone. ends. It never Do you think it, maybe you did it on purpose? Cause I'm like this. <laughs> what if the, he stayed in the movie and had wrote that? Like, hell yeah. <laughs> he I sitting l- in the middle of the movie. You like the I'm talking about you like the movie La like Ivy. <laughs> <laughs> you like you like Close that sang, you like that singing. <laughs> For what part? That is what I'm saying. Like it was it was really quick. So that wasn't long by the time think, you got up and left, it was already over. Uh, and they got a gay sister. And when it almost at the end, it was maybe Nah, it wasn't at the end. Close to the end. It was midway, maybe. It was it was a little bit yeah, past midway. We had a gay sister. A boosie daughter, one of his daughters gay. But he he can't you have hate a, her? he can't have a gay son. Boosie is for gay women. <laughs> Boosie is. If that's the case, he wouldn't have had an issue with color purple. He for. I ain't gonna lie. I saw Boosie's tweet before I saw color purple. I was like, damn, they switched it up. <laughs> that ain't fucking. Yeah, because Boosie's put, one of them ignorant niggas that you know the way he said it make you think they they put out the strap. And, and, and <laughs> the way he said it to me made, sounded like it was men. Oh. And I was just like, I don't remember that from the first movie. Yeah, I don't remember no, nobody being gay. Either. Yeah, so I'm like, damn it. I'm thinking, did they switch it up in the new one? Okay. And then once I saw, I was like, this is what Boosie was mad at? Yeah. The first person that showed this tortured and abused and t- <laughs> and sexually assaulted black woman some love, mm-hmm. I would have kissed Suge too. Yeah. She was, I, she was just happy. It's just in the moment. I'm be, I don't know. This it, the whole thing was weird. But I'm like, I I know your daughter has seen more, seen and heard more things than that. Probably she's seen and heard more probably on TikTok, and from you. That part. I mean, if she's been to a boosty party or walked through getting a tuna sandwich <laughs> on the way back to her room, she <laughs> definitely tuna sandwich. You know, he talking about how famous the sandwiches are and stuff like that. I'm sure she's seen some of that stuff. But Girl. you know, I don't know. He said, I don't know. He said, I don't have them hoes around my kids. I don't know. All right. If you say so, my boy. Yeah, hey, whatever. How do I know? I ain't there. Yeah. I, the, the moral of the story is pay black women, y'all. Mm-hmm. Play, pay black women. Yeah. Y- y'all, you, you can't just use black women for black crafts yeah. and talent. The na- oh, she'll bring the laughs or she'll bring the black crowd. Exactly. And, like, yeah. we deserve to make money just like mm-hmm. y'all do. Facts. That's just really it. Okay. okay, let's go ahead and go on over to our next topic. Okay. Uh, let's do a hundred rounds. Okay. NBA young boy. Basketball. <laughs> um, Utah. Oh, YouTube. <laughs> Facts. Uh, house arrest. Okay. Okay. It's a long ass house arrest. So NBA young boy. So I, I have personally, I have like um, a little theory about NBA young boy. Okay. For one, I feel like he's a slave. Two. Just hear me out. Okay. So, NBA young boy got in trouble. Mm-hmm. His label was able to get him out of jail on house arrest. They got him approved mm-hmm. to be all the way in buttfuck Egypt, mm-hmm. middle of nowhere. Out the way. Mm-hmm. Out the way. He's literally in this house, and all he does is make music. That's all he does. In, in videos. And videos. Mm-hmm. And the white people behind the scenes are just getting richer and richer and richer by the day. <sighs> Personally, I feel like he's a slave. I feel like he's a YouTube slave. Uh huh. Um, I feel like he's a record label slave. Yikes! That's just the way that I feel. I'm gonna be honest. I, I feel, feel like he's being exploited. I feel like I'm too old to really know a lot of young boy stuff. I feel like that's like not my generation. Yeah. No, I see his stuff pop up on YouTube 
all the time. I never see it stuff. And I, and I, I, but I also don't fuck with young niggas or niggas who listen to it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't have no nigga that's like putting it on my Spotify. So it's not oh, like yeah. something I just, you know, normally hear. I'll hear like a feature or something like that. Right. But, but I know the, the range that he has. I know that he got these young niggas heads. It ain't just young niggas. It's old niggas too. He got yeah. niggas. He got niggas. He, got the, he had the heart of the niggas. He has niggas in a chokehold. Yeah. He has niggas in a chokehold. I'm so, telling so you. So I, I realized that i realized how popular he is yes. on youtube and everything else but i just Bro, all of his videos millions and millions mm-hmm. and millions of views mm-hmm. and all nba young boy does is talk about like oh i got this much money i got that da, 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 da. and i'm just thinking to myself like damn if he got that what they got nah i'd hate to be on his bad side the nigga will, the nigga don't care he'll air his business out and yours yeah but i also feel like he ain't gonna fuck with them white people I don't know. I saw one music video. They had, um, he had white men with guns, like security huh? at the house in the video. That me? I'm like, that ain't nothing but the fucking record label doing. Bruh, this nigga is a slave. Oh, oh those are his overseers? Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes, dog. I, that's, that's, that's. A- Bruh, this. I, I'm sorry. Like, are they there to keep him in line? Or NBA what? Youngboy is picking cotton on YouTube. All right. <laughs> okay. All right, y'all. What's <laughs> NBA Youngboy's like off off house arrest? How long is he on house arrest for? Girl, I googled it because I was just like, damn, this nigga literally makes a video a day. Uh huh. He got he got shit else to do. And that's why. That's why they bo- they put that nigga out there in the middle mm-hmm. of fucking nowhere. Mm-hmm. He would have been better off in jail. Um. I think he he had like three years left. Left? Yeah. Damn. That's what I'm saying, dog. (laughs) Like these white people knew that he wasn't making no money in jail. So they paid, bribed, whatever, Mm -hmm. a judge to put that nigga on seven years of house arrest. Damn. And now he got to pay it all back. And you moved him to fucking Utah. That's crazy. He didn't get arrested in Utah. That nigga got arrested in Miami. He would have been too lit in a Miami jail. Or in a Miami house. Yeah, that's... I, 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 that's... That nigga doesn't do anything but make videos and fuck. Yeah, that's all. He's a slave. Okay, all right. Why are we talking about NBA Youngboy instead of calling him a slave? Okay, so NBA Youngboy, uh, I guess he got permission to talk to somebody. Uh-huh. And he did an interview. Uh-huh. A couple things. So one thing in the interview, NBA Youngboy said that he has been smoking cigarettes since he was seven years old. Wow. <laughs> that is wild business. <laughs> to I, be 20 and smoking cigarettes for 13 years is wild. I'm surprised that, I, honestly, I ain't gonna lie, I'm surprised that when I see a pencil on pick up a square. These days? Yeah, I'm like, uh, you you really gonna light up the... It, especially when I see a young person yeah. smoking a cigarette. I, I honestly think your life been hard. <sighs> Like, I automatically think you you have a hard life if I see you smoking a square. If I see you outside patting this, I'm like, oh, this bitch had a hard life. Yeah. You had a hard upbringing. And I don't know why. I just feel like that's some that's some tough shit. Girl, you ain't lying. And I dated one nigga that smoked cigarettes. Mm-hmm. And you talking about don't have a cigarette and get irritated? Mm, I dated one nigga sloppy wide back built ass <laughs> bullfrog that smokes cigarettes too oh why flat bad ass <laughs> flat feet ass frog it, it it just it just you know you ever seen a nigga just let it hang out the side of their mouth and shit oh yeah and talk just get away Man, and then shut I, the fuck up it just cigarette smell yeah and it sticks it sticks it like and you, they want to smoke in the house and then they want to kiss you i'm like i'm okay i'm i'm good yeah I'm okay. Like, I'm good on shit that's make my wallpaper turn brown. Girl, like, I'm telling you. I'm O fucking K. Like, smoking cigarettes like that is just like. I'm like, NBA Youngboy probably smokes a cigarette as soon as he wake up. Mm-hmm. He probably smokes them all day long. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, how long does he expect? How long do y'all expect for NBA to be here at that rate? <sighs> I feel like that nigga's done a lot. And I don't. I feel in like sh- in a short amount of time. I feel like they didn't expect him to make it this far. <laughs> if that nigga been smoking since he was seven, and he actually said that he, I guess somebody put a like somebody was smoking a cigarette, uh-huh. and he picked it up and hit it. And ever since then, and he's been on him since. Now I ain't gonna lie. Uh-huh. My dad had a friend uh-huh. that smoked cigarettes, uh-huh. 
and he threw a cigarette down and I I was very little and I picked it up and hit it. Mm-hmm. But I didn't pick it up and be like, oh yeah, uh-huh. that's it. You know? <laughs> I picked it up and was like, <coughs> hell yeah. Choking. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. My granddaddy used to do it and I, and I even hit it and I was like, this is disgusting. Yeah. Now he used to sit cognac and I was like, this, I guess I kind of fuck with this. I was like five or six sipping out of his cognac. It's probably like wild like brown now. <laughs> oh, different things for different people. <laughs> but I definitely remember like he was like, what's the uh, purple one crown? Oh yeah. Yeah, he had crown bag. Yeah, he drank crown. Yeah, he, he was drinking crown or a cognac. I was like, I sip drinks that sip of yeah. it. Yeah, I liked it. I I, re- I was young. Whenever the first time I tried liquor mm-hmm. or alcohol, <laughs> liquor. Yeah, you did liquor. I was on alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> What's that mean? And, you know, my uncle uh-huh. had a beer. Oh, that's the alcohol. Yeah, and I was like, oh, I want to try it. You uh-huh. know, of course, they were like, oh, this is for adults. Uh-huh. And I was like, I want to try it. I want to try it. Uh-huh. And my uncle let me have a sip of Heineken. Uh-huh. And I was like, oh. See, if it was bear, I probably would have had that same reaction. But I was like, it was, you know. Oh, it, yeah, it mixed with Coke and stuff? Yep. Oh, uh, RC. Yeah. So that, oh, oh, <laughs> I know that was good. <laughs> I feel like it's kind of tasty. Yo, RC is my favorite. You've said that before, and that's RC so wild. Because how often do you see a fucking RC? That's whenever you see dispenser. It, whenever you see it, you gotta get, get it. it. <laughs> When's the last time you seen an RC in a what's that called? Oh, a canned RC. Canned. Why does soda pop be good? I'm gonna mm. a crack. Oh, a can, <laughs> a canned RC boy. That hits, but a RC and brown that sound good yeah it's pretty good I'm, I'm gonna try that i'm gonna do that too. i'm definitely gonna do that so yeah nba young boy said he'd been smoking cigarettes since he was seven uh-huh. and the guy who was interviewing him nba young boy had one of his 11 kids he's got 11 and a possible mm-hmm. and niggas only like 20 something or mm-hmm. 20 a possible who pregnant supposedly his uh wife wife is pregnant okay right. um and uh and i saw one of his videos and he was inside the hot tub uh-huh. and he had his shirt off and stuff and his wife got in the hot tub fully clothed i'm like how a nigga got on less clothes than you in a hot tub yeah because he don't play that shit <laughs> he said bitch you better not bring your naked ass on yeah, you would you would come out here like my homeboy <laughs> <laughs> that girl had on a big t-shirt and jeans and got in the hot tub i said I seen her in another video and like, you know, he was doing this stuff and she's like, yeah, she just be by him. And he be like, and she's like, I was like, she just the support girl. She just like, he just be like, jump in the video. I ain't forgot what he did to Janaya. I know, I know NBA like, he like to get physical. No, he likes to get physical, but anyways. Yeah. Anyway, so, um, <laughs> a little handsy. Yeah. You know, he, he liked to tussle. <laughs> Uh, so the interview had asked him, like, oh, you know, I see your son here. Like, what do you think about fatherhood? Mm-hmm. And NBA young boy said, I don't really care about it. <laughs> Bro, I cannot imagine. And your child right there. And your child right fucking there. And you talking about you don't really give a fuck about fatherhood. Mm-hmm. And you right now you're supposed to be a father. And you know what else is like crazy to me when him and J. Cole had that song, he was like, You put you you brought your son here to the studio, you a real father, and you do a father. and J. Cole, and NBA's like, man, fuck out of that. I don't give a fuck. And my son gotta be here. I'm babysitting. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got nowhere else for him to go. Yeah, so I'm babysitting right now. And- yeah. NBA young boy letting the baby just climb all over him. I'm like, boy, I know this baby is just gotta <sighs> That poor girl. Mm. Poor girl. Having five, I don't know how many kids that she has with him, but. I think two. And, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give him a little, I'm going to give him a little nigga grace. And maybe he feel like, I, I'm not trying to be no poster child for your know, fatherhood. Like, I know I'm a good father. I, I don't have to get wow. on here and show y'all. Girl, NBA young boy ain't thinking none of that shit. That okay. nigga said exactly what he meant. He don't give a damn about fatherhood because even a couple of his like baby mamas had something to say about it. Mm-hmm. That nigga couldn't even remember who was who. He was like, uh, uh, that one, uh, skinny built ass bitch. Oh, he definitely had a few of them. I guess he's like the ones I don't fuck with. 
And you know what? Yaya and Janaya. Oh, yeah. Yaya probably in the bathroom. Hell yeah. I'm like, uh, Yaya act like him. Every time you see Janaya. Hell yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Always bumping his music. Girl, that's all she listened to. I saw one video of her. I was like, this bitch has really embodied NBA. First of all, I I honestly feel like he should have got a charge for going Yaya. (laughs) I don't think Yaya can legally consent because. Something's off. Something. Something. Something's something off. is off. Just a tell. Not a lot. Just a t- you just, just a tell. You can look at it a little bit. Enough. Like, yeah, just a little bit. You just tell like. Uh, Something's off. She sh- probably should have somebody here with her making these yeah. life decisions and yeah, stuff yeah, like that. Not, she ain't all there. And you know she like he's like man the, he's like she only want to let me have him unless she coming too and I was like I can see that same. You gotta let me. We, we both gotta we, come over we there. We both coming. Mm-hmm. We a package. We a family. I don't care that Jazz is there. We all gonna need to be there. And ain't Jazz the one she stabbed? Nah, it was another one. It was another one of the baby mamas. I don't think she stabbed Jazz. Child. And why she ain't in jail? She on probation. Hmm, they give probation to anybody. That's her first offense. <laughs> <laughs> they give it your first offense usually. <laughs> if it ain't too crazy. I feel like he- they, they hand probation now. They, everybody get probation but that nigga uh, that check that judge. <laughs> hey, that nigga want that one his first strike either. Shit. <laughs> that one that, imagine that'd be your first imagine he in there for theft, his first theft. And you done did that and dumb did ass that shit. shit. Now you in there for stupid. What's that uh, orange and no, uh it was some movie. They, he was only in there for like, oh, Sons of Anarchy. Oh yeah. And his time kept getting longer and longer he kept yeah, doing he, shit. Girl, dumbass. Time he had three life sentences. I was like, this nigga, <laughs> after I saw that video, I said, whatever they said that nigga did, that nigga did, he did that it. shit. Girl, and you see <laughs> the second when he came back to the court the second time. Completely covered. Had that muzzle on. Yes, ma'am. I was like, <laughs> Your stupid ass. They, I'm sure they beat Crazy your ass real so. good back there. Hell yeah. And honestly and truthfully, if they would have pulled out that baton on this bitch, <laughs> I, I, wouldn't even, <laughs> I wouldn't even been mad. I was. I ain't gonna lie. I low key thought I was like, oh, they finna, they finna clap shoot. this nigga. I was like, they finna shoot this nigga live. <laughs> they finna shoot this nigga on TV. <laughs> I thought it. I said, oh yeah. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn out the cheek. And I don't think it's gonna be a say his name. Oh. <laughs> Girl, you know, you know, I'm gonna turn the cheek. Yeah, you know, when black folks they don't get behind her, you don't hear no uh, say his name. You be like, well, shit, that, 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 nigga, nigga, yeah, that nigga was doing too much. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, oh, that nigga to clothesline the judge like that. Hell that yeah, he was beating her ass for a long time. Hell yeah, she was like, hey. <laughs> That nigga was down there for a minute. It's all I like, said, boy, I know once they took him to the back, they probably let they let him have they it. They let it loose. They let him have it. They let that they let it loose on his ass. I don't know. NBA young boy, I feel like he should be studied. That is He's PTSD. The embodiment of it? <laughs> That's I think he has it. I think he has PTSD from uh-huh. childhood. Uh-huh. Because of the way he grew up. Mm-hmm. I think NBA Youngboy was probably exposed to a lot very early. Uh, nigga, he was smoking at seven. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I would say so. And these are the effects of it. I w- yeah. And I'm, he'd be even worse if he didn't have money. Oh, nigga. Robin stealing. Nigga would have been dead. The nigga would not. Like, the money and house arrest has so far saved him. Because he's been in a, a couple of things. I'm like, niggas have out here die for less. So, girl, I just I don't I. But you know what? You know what? In fifteen years, and I want y'all to remember this. Y'all are gonna see what NBA Young Boys babies created, cause these little niggas now, these little niggas now. Oh, the NBA Young Boy effect is real. You finna these niggas is they already bad. You, I have friends that are teachers be like these elementary kids are bad as fuck. Girl, these NBA Young Boy babies coming up now. Hold it from breaking niggas. If you if you got a man, get him now. <laughs> Cause the king and legends coming up. These niggas now are Girl, savages, and I I'm hate. You. I hate, but I hate it for you. I'm uh, hey, I'm scared of y'all. I'm, I'm a little nervous. I ain't gonna lie. Girl, I ain't gonna lie. I saw my little cousin for the first time in a while for Thanksgiving. Uh-huh. Big NBA young boy fan, and I just looked at him. I was like, "You look like NBA young boy hair." He was sitting, he was like, and you could tell he was listening to it. He told me, mm-hmm. like, see? And I'm like, mm-hmm. 
<laughs> you better, Hide your watch. purse. You better watch them. <laughs> you better watch. You better keep an eye on yeah, them. Yeah, listen, 10, 15 years, these little NBA young boy babies coming up. Problem. Ain't going to be nothing nice. Problems loading. Nothing nice. Problems fucking loading. All right. All right. Good luck. Good luck to the future, child. <laughs> Like, this is like the future Whitney was thinking about. Yeah, good luck. This is not what she envisioned. Girl, a mess. Okay, um, let's go ahead and go over to our next topic. Okay. Let's do a hundred rounds. Okay, Jonathan Majors. Civil rights. You deserve it. Coretta. You get what you get. <laughs> I'm gonna get boy. Okay, I'm I'm going to start by saying that honestly and truthfully, my. My um, sympathy level for Jonathan Majors is incredibly low. I'm not going to say my sympathy level. I, I empathize with him getting the punishment that he got mm. based on what happened. Like, I feel like that's kind of fucked up for, some, for you to be attacked and be running away from the situation to get charged. Mm. But I also like, I also be like, what the fuck you expect? Like I'm also I, I I empathize, but I also I mean shit. What you niggas gonna learn? What what do you want? Like you've seen history's playbook. I don't oh, know where you've it? seen it in <laughs> nice for a but a lot of niggas when it come to white women. So for the fact, like you, I don't know. Maybe maybe they feel about white women like I feel about stealing. <laughs> like maybe I just ain't got the. You know, I ain't just I ain't had a. You know, I don't know. You ain't been scared enough. Yeah, maybe I ain't been scared straight enough. You know what I'm saying? But I also. Uh, that's what. Yeah, that's what'll get you scared straight. <laughs> I don't know. Woman. I don't. I don't know. The sad thing is, if this exact same thing had happened with Megan Good, it wouldn't even. It would have a completely different outcome. First of all, she wouldn't have called the police, probably to protect this black man. Second of all, um. She would have been v- blamed. Oh yeah, it would have been. They would have definitely asked her what she did first. And, and that what and that what we all did to Rihanna. Yeah, well, well you know she's from the island. They kind of spicy. Yeah, fighting each other. Yeah, like they would have definitely asked her what she did first. They would have said, "Oh, that's what you get for leaving that pastor." And meanwhile, we're getting videos of this white woman unconscious in a closet, and everybody's like, "Oh my gosh!" In the closet, girl, you didn't see the video. I try to. St- I I got bits and pieces. Oh, girl! Once after the video came out of mm-hmm. her chasing him, mm-hmm. oh, they, her team let it out. The nine one one call, mm-hmm. him calling and saying, "Hey, she's unconscious over here," mm-hmm. and he says that he was locked out of the house. He finally got in. Mm-hmm. And the um the video, the recording of him telling her that he wants her to be like Coretta, and he's a <sighs> black man doing great things for his culture. For- Sorry, you cannot do great things for black people being with a white woman. I don't give a fuck. I don't care how much money you donate. I don't care. I don't care. Because you know what black people need? We need we need generational wealth. And we need to to see you with someone that look like your mama. It don't even have to be that. We need generational wealth. We don't need for you to die and for your wealth to go to a white woman. We don't need that. Sorry. Jonathan Majors, you get whatever the fuck you deserve. For one, like like Dr. Umar said, <laughs> nigga, you need a thousand lashings for telling a white woman <laughs> to act like Coretta Scott King. I will. I, that is some why. Like, Su- Susan B. Anthony, ain't she white? Girl. Ain't there white suffragists that you could you could have said? You could have said anybody. Other white woman. You could have said, what's the white woman that's the, like that's the uh, Planned Parenthood? Uh, the use uh, of the genetics. <laughs> you wouldn't even say her. Huh? And I'd be you like, could've, y'all could have been uh, Joe and Jill Biden. You could have been Mr. and Mrs. Smith for all I fucking care. Like you could have said anybody else. Or what was that love couple? The the love couple, the first interracial couple. They, uh, oh, the loving. Yeah, the, <laughs> be them. Be loving versus Mississippi. Yeah, be be fucking them. I bet I said I bet Coretta is like, God damn it, enough is a goddamn enough. Hell yeah, y'all done put Suki on my husband, and you done put and, this, and, 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 and now Jonathan telling this white and woman, this now nah, this white bitch. <laughs> you didn't got to, you done told this white bitch to be more like me, and you could have got you could have had me. You know you know what kind of slap in the face that is to tell this white woman to act like a black woman. It you, is, it's a slap in the face to tell me to act like Coretta. Cause, if, nigga, what the fuck?
fuck, but <laughs> to tell a white woman. slap in the face to act, tell you to act like Coretta. It is. Because, nigga, what? Do, do y'all know how much Coretta suffered? No, nah, that nigga really did think he was an activist. I think. He did. Lovecraft what, really did a number on him. Honestly and truthfully, I think that that nigga <laughs> became Atticus and never stopped. Nah, you, you could tell because all them nigga war was uh, seats at the table, 14s. <laughs> And holds me down 13s. So that's all the nigga wore for the last two years. And them fucking page boy caps looking like a, a, a paper boy. Like, uh-huh. he really did get stuck in that decade. After I saw that video of him and Megan's hair was poking out. I was like, oh. He, he and that nigga didn't even attempt to fix and, and it. And you, you fixing her, her hair for the coat. But you letting her walk out with a stray hair. He let her walk out that court like this, y'all. Still looking crazy. Somebody had come and said, damn, he really ain't been with black women. He don't <laughs> know what to do. At all. I feel like every black man I know would be like. Yeah, smoothing it down or something. Something. Or, or tell you like. Oh, yeah, because we know how to hold fix- our hair to put our coat yeah, on. Yeah, you, you might, like- might want to fix your hair or something. Yeah, he looked like he was, he looked like he was handling the hair with kid gloves. Like he, I don't want to pull it too hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, like he was afraid to touch it. It looked like you scare him. They said it stink. <laughs> It's itchy. Oh yeah, the, the white girl said it stank because y'all keep wearing them bonnets. And y'all don't wash your hair a lot. And y'all got dandruff. <laughs> <laughs> y'all wash our hair once a week. <laughs> I'm like, he just look like I don't know. I don't nigga know. Get whatever the fuck he deserve. I don't give a damn. And him doing that little interview, nigga, that made shit worse. You think it made it worse? Hell yeah, because that nigga looked like he was acting. I didn't watch the interview. I'll be honest. I didn't watch it. Girl, I didn't watch it. I just saw the internet clips of it. Mm-hmm. For them to ask him, like, well, she has these injuries. How do you think she got those? I wish I knew. Oh. That's the kind of response. Nigga, the fuck? Girl. She's, she's unconscious in, a ba- in the closet. Did they say why she was? I don't no. know. Why, why, oh, she was just in there. But of course they're claiming that he had some. They, they, because her being unconscious in the closet uh-huh. happened the day after the video of them running around New York. Oh. Yeah, it was the next day. Oh, shit. And he claimed. Oh, I look, he kind of forgot all about this. He claimed that he was locked out of the apartment uh-huh. and couldn't get in. And he got maintenance to let him in. Uh-huh. And he walked in oh, and found her. her unconscious in the, in the closet but didn't it show that though that he was outside trying to get in or something like that oh that i didn't see i thought i thought they showed that part of him trying to get in and the maintenance man and all this stuff oh yeah too. no i didn't see that part i just saw her in the closet and she's like dazed and fucking confused i just i i i have a little bit of empathy but i also be like you know let me tell you something jonathan well, majors probably wouldn't piss on you if he was on fire Oh, he wouldn't piss on me if I asked for it. <laughs> like, I, I mean, but like, I, I still feel like it sucks, but like. You deserve it. This, I, I Deserve is pretty tough. Deserve is a lot. I know. Deserve, Sucks, huh? deserve is a lot. I will say. So unfortunate. I just don't. I just don't have it in me to really. I'm not. I'm not finna go to battle for you. I ain't finna do. Oh, give him back his job. Like I ain't finna do oh, all that. Oh no. Like I'm not going to bet for you. Mm-mm. I may see something else you playing, but it's not like because you told a white woman to be a black woman. I'm cool, dog. I am super cool. Yeah. I am super cool. That is such a slap in the face as a and black him, woman. And him saying what? Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't fire your PR because whoever told you to say Coretta in this interview with Megan Good. They have your. They don't have your bench versus their heart. Cause we were tripping about you. It wasn't the fact. That, it was the fact that you called a white woman Coretta for sure. But it was the fact that you don't know. It, like I would run you. Like Michelle is this decade, nigga. He, like, he told the white woman to be Michelle. Okay. Well, let me see who else. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, like you said, that nigga really thinks that he's an activist. Yeah, Yahar Shahidi, like <laughs> someone new. I'm like, okay, she's new. That's di- but like with someone so much poise, like I, I could even understand. Like I could understand if he said Megan is like my b- Michelle, that would make more sense to me than telling me that this white woman is your Coretta. <laughs> that will never make sense to me. Why won't you just let that white woman be who she gonna be and let Megan be who she gonna be? I mean, but if you're gonna go, if you're gonna say, "Oh, that's that, that's my rock, that's my rib," that's like, that's what I get when you saying that's my that's Coretta. What, that's my PR stunt. That's that's what it is. That's what I'm getting. 
and it's a damn shame. <laughs> uh, this is what I'm sick of. Is that right? This Megan is. I'm sick of you niggas getting into a pickle <laughs> and looping us in. Yeah. Because Jeezy, you did the same shit with Nia Long. Mm -hmm. After and now, now you got this Asian woman telling everybody you got guns and shit, and you you unsafe. <laughs> That's Asian woman. When we nigga, you was a snowman. We knew that, and everybody loved it. Yeah, nobody had a problem with you being a snowman over on this side. Yeah, but then you go and marry that Asian woman. You stay over there. Mm -hmm. Stay over there. You have already to me. You already picked a side. Stay the fuck over there. I don't care. Jeezy, you too. You deserve whatever the fuck you deserve. Jeezy Jenkins. Jeezy Jeezy May. Ah, <laughs> not Jeezy May. You deserve whatever the fuck Child. you deserve. I I. I I just stay out of it. Like they ain't got nothing to do with me. That's how I feel. Yeah, I feel no. I feel nothing they ain't for you. Do with me. I feel nothing for you, Jonathan Majors. I ain't gonna lie. I was part of the uh, crowd that thought you was very attractive. And now, and now, I, now you give me mental health vibes. And then when Cat Williams said, I was like, you know what? He really ain't, but he is. <laughs> oh yeah, when Cat was like, hey, they convinced and all these women black. that he was uh, he a big nose nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. He, he, he looked like a nigga you know like, you know what i do know a regular nigga that look like him hell yeah and i would never give him a time with that you know what i'm saying he look like a regular nigga but they did it to us they they they, they got us. us yeah yeah and that damn lovecraft country is what did it they had us defending him for wearing them flower pants and all that shit like hell he's yeah. not in this toxic masculinity let yeah let him pose he's not soft or gay and that nigga took off that pink coat and went home to a white woman to that pink woman hmm Sure did. Hmm. Oh, when, when she when I saw her on the first time, I was like, oh, yes, you know, she, I I she looked, she looked like it. No, I'm just saying when I first saw them together, I was like, all right. It's the same way I felt whenever I saw Lawrence with a white woman. Lawrence. Oh yeah, I'm like, oh, if your attractive your attract, yeah. <laughs> your attractiveness instantly goes down. Like you could be at a ten, you go back, you go down ten. <laughs> You go down to end. Literally, nigga. You you at the bottom. Listen, I done told y'all this before. I done had I done fucked with a nigga tough. And I thought I thought me and this nigga was gonna be together forever. This nigga had a baby. <sighs> with a white woman. I was like, oh. Permanent damage. You bro. <laughs> you you bro bro. Like, I'm hey, I can't do nothing for you. Let me tell you something. I can't do nothing for you. I dated one nigga who came from like a a, a Black Panther family, uh -huh. and that I asked him, I was like, "You ever did what? A white woman? <laughs> oh, <laughs> please don't ever ask me no dumbass shit." Okay, like, like whatever I hear, men are like, "Hell no!" What? My mama told me I ain't better not ever. Yeah, I'm like, "Oh, yeah. okay." I love I love your mama too. But and this <laughs> is the thing: it's nothing against white women, even though I know it sounds like it. Yeah, it's, it sounds pretty bigoted right now. <laughs> I, I, I know I'm giving big advice, but that's not the case here. Mm -hmm. The case is, is that we have so many unwedded single black women. Mm -hmm. There are, I know so many black women, good black women. Great black women. That have nobody. And I just keep thinking the imagery of like what we see, and then, and then as a black woman, how are you supposed to feel when these success when you see several successful black men, and and these are like you said successful black women, but we feel like we can't have the minutes on our level because they don't want us. Exactly. So I can just like imagine like, and you hear women be like, yeah, I don't get approached. Like men don't come talk to me. They don't want to. You know what I'm saying? And and then we get we get told where it's our fault, yep. our attitudes bad. Mm -hmm. We not and it, it's plenty of pick Misha's out here too. It's plenty of ditzy bitches if you really want one. Yeah, big facts. If you plenty like, of it's plenty of them. If you just got to pick, like you can find what you want out here. But it just it is kind of and I I really appreciate. I've been starting to see this. Like when I see people, you know, shade room will post shit being shady. Like oh, oh look yeah. at a new boo. And I love when black men be like black women. I love y'all. Yeah, for real. And that's a shame that like this is the era that we are in now. Mm -hmm. To the point where it's like you see a black man dating a black woman and it's like, oh, good for you. Kudos. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like Mario posted something that looked ambiguous. And I'm like, Mario, come on, dog. Them, them, them the ambiguous ones wasn't watching you versus Omarion. And they also, they also wasn't who you asked in the braid your hair, nigga. The fuck? You know she, she gonna fuck your shit up. So black women good for a service. Yeah, pretty much so, so, a mammy. 
That's all you want is a mammy. That's what I'm saying, dog. Somewhere like, to braid your is... hair and lay, lay your sorrows down when the world is too hard for you. Bruh, that shit is crazy. That yeah. shit is so crazy to me. It's pretty wild. It's a damn shame that we are really at a point where it's like, oh, a black woman with a black man. That's rare. Wow. Yeah. Like, even... You be, you be rooting for couples who ain't who ain't supposed to be girl, together. No what I be seeing... Girl, don't let me see two dark-skinned people together. Hell yeah. Out. I be like, oh my God. Y'all are so cute. Y'all are beautiful. Goals. Like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, you, you just want to see it. Yeah. It's just. That's why I just said, like, I have no sympathy for Jonathan Majors. It is, it's, it's disheartening as a, as a black woman seeing. It's very disheartening. That from time to time. And you be like, and just even like, you you know they didn't treat the black woman in their lives that as, as good as what you see and all that other stuff. Or you constantly hear that the black woman has helped you reach to this point and then once you got to a certain point all right big dog this one i'm gonna let you yeah. out yeah deuces and i'm also really sick of the narrative that like i've heard like you know more nerdy black men mm -hmm. will say oh you know what well, black women don't want me or that's a goddamn lie black women never approach me we have plenty of black women that are nerds facts like if, if it's a if it's a nerd thing or a blurred thing mm -hmm. There's plenty of that. Like, this is really just you and your choices. And they weren't checking you for you because you was a nerd? Because you said bitches be nerdy too. Like, nigga, you was musty. <laughs> like, just like, can we just call a thing a thing? Like, Not musty. You was musty. You didn't have an edge up. You know what I'm saying? You like, you was a little crusty. And that's, and say that. But it's not because you was a nerd. Because bitches Girl. watching anime and all the other shit too. That's what I'm saying. Like, they're all of that. Like, we have black women that are gamers. Facts. We have black women that like anime. Yeah. There, there is, whatever there, there kind is, of black woman you want, whatever kind of woman you want, she comes in black. Facts. And I was like, you know, if it really, like, you know, I went to my little uh, fan expo convention. I love seeing the black couples dress up. They're, I, like, they be in these spaces, too. Like, they do shit together. That's what I'm saying. Cause like, playing together. Like, you stop ain't really with the gotta weird look hard. shit. Facts. Stop with the weird shit. You ain't got to look hard. And if you do, you ain't looking in the right spaces. Because there's all these communities for people who meet up together. Like, people meet in groups all the time and fall in love. Like, that, that part. Stop playing. That part. Stop fucking playing. Just all right, y'all piss me off. I mean, I don't know. It just it like you say it really is disheartening. You know, as many like as many great black women like it ain't even just good black women. I know so many great black women who would make amazing wives and who want to be mothers and just it just ain't enough for y'all to go around. Mm -mm. And the ones that y'all to go around, y'all know it ain't enough. So y'all throw it in our face. Yeah, and y'all become the bad bitches. Yep, y'all have ultimately come. <laughs> That that nigga that live upstairs, boy. Y'all ultimately become the bad bitches. Yeah. And y'all trying to do the choosing. Facts. It's yeah. just we just bumping heads. Yeah. We both can't be the bad bitch. That part. We like y'all have really turned like, oh, I date black women into a character trait. Y'all have turned into a height. <laughs> yeah, literally. Like y'all have turned it into like I love my black women. It's now you're it's now I'm six five. Yeah. That's your new six That's five. The new six five. And honestly, they don't do it for me before six five. If I see on if I see on a if I was dating and I seen on a man's dating profile, I love black women. Oh shit, you halfway there. Yeah, facts. You're halfway fucking there. Facts. You're Big halfway facts. there. If if I don't see no I love all women, you're halfway fucking there. Yeah, so I don't discriminate. Well I do. Yeah, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> and I'm gonna report you. Big discriminator. <laughs> Big bigot. <laughs> Big bigot. Big discriminator. It's a real black party. Real segregation. <laughs> Put it on the color line. <laughs> Put it on MLK again. <laughs> Put it on Juneteenth again. <laughs> Damn. I it's uh, something stuff I take before. Girl. So I, I don't same. I don't know, child, but all right, whatever. All right, let's go ahead and go on over to our last topic. All right, child. Uh let's do a hundred rounds. Okay. Cat Williams. Whew. I ain't, I ain't finna say nothing bad about him, that's for sure. Uh, at all, you better not. <laughs> ain't nothing bad to say. Real Fendi. <laughs> Pimp. Real hair. <laughs> Woke. All right. Okay, so y'all know by now, everybody, this is probably one of the most viral YouTube videos I've probably ever seen. I, I think it's one of the highest climbing videos I've seen. Happen Girl, in a long time. He had 20 million views in two days. Damn, was that much? Yeah, I saw it with my own eyes. <laughs> you said with my eyes, it's, I synced it. The first day, I think he hit 15. 
It was in the millions for the first. The yeah. first uh, for, the, for it to be a few hours, it, it hit a million already. Yeah, it was mm-hmm. crazy. So Cat Williams went on Club Shay Shay with Shannon Sharp. Mm-hmm. Um, and the interview basically started off with Shannon Sharp saying, Cat, how are you? And Cat let it. Let it off. Let the chopper sing. Thanks. So, of course, he uh, he made comments about a little bit of everybody. Mm-hmm. Um, talked about Steve Harvey and his man unit. <laughs> Okay. Uh, and when you think about it, Steve Harvey really had us believing. There was no progression of the hot top. Usually, when niggas start losing hair, like you, you don't go from that to bald. Yeah, you see LeBron over here brushing his. <laughs> LeBron needs to, bro. He ain't let, he brushing his Turkish, <laughs> his Turkish deposit zone down. I'm like, the hair ain't going nowhere. But you want to brush it? Down. Okay, all right, whatever. We'll we'll do it with you. Uh-huh. I'm just like I feel like this is not good for your scalp, LeBron. It's not that friction. You just, yes. you just bring them, them baby follicles on out. I'm just like this them is, baby follicles is, this ain't is really, not healthy. Mm-mm. But you know what I'm saying. Usually when niggas go bald, it's a progression. It yeah. ain't just like full healthy head of hair ball. Steve Harvey was wearing a man unit that whole goddamn time, y'all. And that's and he's and I'll, he's innovative. He's innovative. The, when I go back and look at it now, that shit look crazy as fuck. I mean, it was tight. It was tight. It was dark as fuck. Like it, it was Imagine a lot that going being on. your principal. Imagine that being your husband. <laughs> Him coming home and standing in the back of your couch cushions. <laughs> 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 or, or or you can't you go Beijing <laughs> everywhere. Hell yeah, you gotta wait twenty four hours before you, you engage in any type of heavy physical and sexual activity because you gotta wait for his okay, glute, his lace to dry yeah, all the way. No, nah, facts. He can't sweat. Yeah, the no. lace ain't adhered all the way. Child. What a life. What a life. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking Can't life say, i don't know it, child. he talked about steve harvey stealing jokes uh-huh. uh he talked about um kevin hart mm-hmm. uh he talked about he talked about kevin hart being a handsome you all right <laughs> he done, yeah he done <laughs> fell down behind the pillow got stuck yeah he had fell down and he was just hanging <laughs> <laughs> and he was just looking at me like bitch you gonna help me are you gonna help or not <laughs> okay he's good now um <laughs> He talked about uh, Kevin Hart being an industry plant, which mm-hmm. I firmly believe. Okay. I firmly believe. Mm-hmm. For one, y'all can hate me, whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't think that Kevin Hart's funny. And I've been said it. I think Kevin Hart is funny. No. I, I think Kevin Hart is funny. No, I do not think he's funny. I think that <laughs> Kevin Hart, I think his comedy is based upon black trauma and white people like laughing at that. How is Debra Blake on black trauma? So all of that, him talking about his daddy being on drugs and all that? His daddy really is a crackhead. But why go on stage and talk, and white people love, you know, you, white, you know what white people love? <laughs> they love crackhead jokes. They love single mother jokes too. They love single mom jokes. They like crackhead jokes. They like black trauma jokes. And you know who else is guilty of that? None other than T- yours truly, Tiffany, Tiffany Haddish. Haddish. She was a foster youth. Yeah, and white people love black struggle. But I, I, I'm they a, love it. I believe Cat. I believe Cat Williams a thousand percent. That nigga's a fucking industry player. I'm gonna give him a little bit because a lot of, a lot of comedians will say that that's the reason they're funny is from their pain. So a lot of them get on stage and they tell their truths and stuff like that. So mm. I, I'm gonna give you that. Now he's white funny. So I, that's what it is. He's white funny. He Ooh. appeals to white. He makes white people feel comfortable. Yeah. And I'm not just gonna say it's a trauma. I actually think he's funny. I don't think Kevin Hart is funny whatsoever. That I nigga will be Kevin up there Hart laughing show. at his own jokes. I think people just laugh at him laughing. Maybe. <laughs> I, I don't think none of that shit's funny. Maybe I don't know. I'm not. But he he talked about fat face on lie. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga's weird. Face on yeah. That yeah, it's a little strange. He's a he's a strange wing. Uh, who else did he talk about? Oh, he talked about Wanda again, that uh, whole yeah. debacle and stuff like that. Yeah. You know what the you know do I believe the whole thing? A part of me wants to believe everything, but a part oh. of me no just niggas. I don't believe everything. You know, niggas Who called him a liar? I ain't nobody called him a liar, but some of the stuff I was like, three thousand books. Oh, I okay. So I think that the I think that nonfiction. I think the interview was ninety five percent true, uh-huh. and well, actually, I think it's ninety eight percent true and probably two percent embellishment. I I, I feel saying like you read three thousand books is just you saying you read a lot. That's the way I took it. 
Yeah, I can see. I can see that. Not that you actually read three thousand books. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I took it from that. It, 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 maybe he was. I feel like he was seven smoking cigarettes. Yeah, he probably was. He probably. <laughs> the only thing that did throw me off was him saying that he got accepted into college at twelve, and then he failed, and that's the reason why he couldn't go. I want to say I did see something about saying that he was in Mensa or something like that, but. The reason he fell out of college is that he didn't feel like it was challenging enough. But uh, why did you fail if you were that smart? I mean, I that's the only personally that's the only thing to me that didn't make sense. Maybe because you don't have people telling you when deadlines are in college. Anybody I feel like if you're a child prodigy, you shouldn't fail. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know why he failed. But that was the only thing that threw me off. I. I think it was just him embellishing on some stuff. All right, okay, I can, I can get. But I don't it. think it was lies because nobody called him a liar. Yeah, no one said he. Y'all lying. had tried to say like, "Oh, y'all know cat crazy, and cat on drugs." Y'all know cat on drugs. Y'all know mm-hmm. cat struggles with mental health. Y'all done said everything but liar. It, it's just one thing I don't understand. Mm-hmm. Hazel E. Oh yeah, I just like. I think that was just doing some shit. But that was his. Uh, what do you call it? Light skin, ugly. Ugly face. Ugly face woman. That was his. I don't know. I, that, I, that I was kind of guilty of some of the stuff that he said. The whole thing was, yeah, the whole thing was kind of strange with her too. I'm like, I, and I, maybe this is thinking too deep, but mm-hmm. I, I saw Cat almost as like, like Jesus. You know what, what? I'm saying? Okay, and not, and not him like being Jesus or anything uh-huh. like that. But you know, the, perception that people have of jesus is that jesus was clean and jesus you know what i'm saying only with the churches and jesus you know what i'm saying was this perfect person but honestly it, the way i feel jesus was like i felt like jesus was in there in the clubs you know what i'm saying i like if he would have look you say, say i'm, I'm crazy I'm listening. I'm, I'm listening i, I ain't saw your, nothing. I saw your face but i'm saying like the jesus that i feel like would have been trying to help the people who needed the help the most he won in the churches with the pastors and the priests he was out there with the heart he was out there with the harlots and the woman with the issue of blood and the other woman with all the husbands and stuff like that he was out there with the dirty people they said jesus had matted nappy hair you know what i'm saying like i don't i'm, I'm just waiting for the cat correlation the part where i said with cat williams is that people tried to villainize him and say he did drugs he did all that but You've seen so many people say about the nice things that Cat have done, and Cat ain't ever broadcast none of the stuff he did. Cat ain't ever put a video camera in somebody's face and be like, "I get how I feel to get fifteen hundred dollars." Right. You know what I'm saying? So the the part about Jesus is like he was persecuted, but he did all these things, and he didn't have to speak on it. People spoke on on, on his, his behalf. on his behalf, and what he also just said, like, "I treat people good." The way he the way he treat people. That's why I got the Christ like and godly like and stuff okay. like that. When he was like, "I pay for." somebody's uh, walk of fame star, not because it was the right thing to do, because it needed to happen. You right, know what I'm saying? Like, fact. I just needed to do it. I didn't wait for uh, 10 artists to come together to do it. I felt like it's something I need. So I, that's what I'm saying. Like, for people, him to put pe- money in people's pockets, mm-hmm. for, to see people, like, out there grinding and doing their thing, and, like, here, you know, for, you know, he's like, people just gave him money or come up to give him money. That's why I get the Christ-like thing. So I'm not, you know, comparing to Jesus, but I've, I've I felt very much like Christ-like things in what he oh, said. Oh, yeah. No, because you can definitely tell that Kat has done a lot, a lot of good. Mm-hmm. And then, like you said, he's never broadcasted any of it. Mm-hmm. He's never, you know, displayed it. Mm-hmm. It's never been just, like, at the front of, like, I'm Cat Williams and I give. Mm-hmm. And honestly and truthfully, I, I think I've even said it on here before, I am one of the people, I don't believe that you should broadcast the good things that you do. Mm-hmm. I give money to people all the time. I would never put a camera in front of a homeless man. Mm-hmm. I would never record, tell somebody, him. hey, record me. I'm going to go give him a burger. Yeah. I would never do anything like that because honestly and truthfully, the way that I feel is you either give or you don't. Yeah. Or give sincerely. Or exactly it, it kind of don't matter yeah. and like recording it and all of that like mm-hmm. you're looking for something on the back end mm-hmm. and I'm, I'm not okay with that mm-hmm. at all mm-hmm. but you can definitely tell that cat like he, he's done a lot of good in his time mm-hmm. working in the industry he talks about all the things that he did for nick cannon mm-hmm. you know coming back when he was at the height of his career to exactly. kind of help bridge the gap and make people comfortable because like he said you know before a comedian say something that you know these hip hop artists, like, I'll beat your ass, my nigga. And, and some of them still be like, ah, stop talking about me. But now a lot of them are like, oh, that's fun. Like, even right. with Funny Marco, welcome, for the most part. 
you know what I'm saying? I felt like Cat Williams really did help bridge that gap and mm-hmm. make it okay to like for us to laugh at you and all, and, and introduce us to some of these rappers are funny as fuck too. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? And they so, got personalities. Yeah, they're more than just these hard ass, you know, gangsta licious. You know, so these niggas is funny and shit too. Yeah. So I don't know the whole the whole thing. I I ain't gonna lie. I ain't ever listened to a whole episode of Club Shay Shay. Oh, me either. That was the first and probably the last. I don't know. I ain't going to say the last because somebody could come on there saying the worst. <laughs> I, I've watched it a few times, though. Oh, you watched that cat one? Uh-huh. Oh. I, I, watched, right. I watched the interview a few times. Just because like I. Three hours. Well, I watched it twice. Let me say that. <laughs> a couple times. Let me not say a few. I watched it a couple times and, and saw clips again and stuff right. like that. But he definitely had his quotables in there. And I mean, you, you think uh, Ludacris and Illuminati? Ah, that was hard for me because I love me some splash waterfall and ludicrous with the chops and all the other stuff. It's giving. I don't, I want to feel like ludicrous really did earn his earn his stripes and Chris Bridges on a, a DJ and all that. I, that's just wild to me because then the shit makes sense. But did Tyrese do the same thing? I, it shouldn't make you wonder. I don't know. I don't know. But, but for Ludacris to get online and your response is to be a freestyle, I, I, I commented. I said, nigga, I am not listening to that <laughs> shit. I don't give a damn. You could be saying, oh, uh, you could be giving us life secrets. You could be saying the Illuminati is real. Uh-huh. I'm not going to hear it. I'm not listening to that shit. <laughs> nigga, why the fuck would you get online and freestyle with them damn uh, sideburns? He's showing you that they 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 still there. He's still. He's and they still, just drew them. I'm still Chris Bridges. <laughs> you see this? fresh braid up that i got done i'm still Mm -hmm. i'm still him Mm -hmm. i don't so i'm I'm feeling another fast and furious of the 20 that uh they told you you had to do (laughs) hey i just be feel like that's ludicrous do though yeah now no y'all no ludicrous always been a battle rapper rap y'all be telling people to get in the booth if they really feel some type of way girl what y'all be, y'all do be tell, you don't even believe what you saying y'all do be telling people to get in the booth <laughs> you don't believe nothing so you mean to tell me that you want to hear did you listen to the ludicrous freestyle i actually did i actually did tell me two things he said i will oh, listen now i'm taking it too far huh? listen i don't yeah. i don't recall certain she things that was to that shit, i did no. listen i swear to god listen to it I damn don't it. bring god in now i'm talking did, about the illuminati i did listen to it though i don't it wasn't very memorable i was like oh yeah he did that but i don't remember a lot but what he said if you want to, <laughs> if you feel so inclined to go listen to Ludacris freestyle about it, like, girl, you know damn well you ain't. You, so you listen, you swipe and listen to every. I slide. listen to the whole thing, girl. You is a damn liar, I'm not bro. Lying. I, I don't, don't believe. I don't believe you for. A, I a, listen to the I whole. I don't believe you for a second, dog. I, I don't believe. <laughs> I can literally see you on the phone and keep. <laughs> I don't see you stopping at no damn ludicrous freestyle. I want to hear what he had to say. So you mean to tell me you listened to a ludicrous freestyle, but you didn't listen to Taraji talking about the color purple? What you mean? There was something we just spoke about. You said, I didn't hear it. What I didn't hear? <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember what I didn't hear. So you listened to a ludicrous freestyle before it. <laughs> Don't topics. do that! Don't do that! No, because I'm a black woman, so I I I automatically feel I feel like someone I'm like yeah, did you? <laughs> <laughs> I really I I understand where she was coming from. Before I but I I was interested in what Little Chris had to say. I really did listen to all three minutes of it. I surely did. I promise you. I swear to God, you I did. Need asking for your minutes back if you did. The freestyle wasn't bad. It was just it was just ill placed. <laughs> It was bad. It wasn't bad, but I don't remember it. Yeah, it was like it was like you at dinner, right? And you really want the cheesecake for at, for your dessert, but they bring you a pizuki. <laughs> it ain't bad. It ain't what I asked for. I eat it, <laughs> nigga. Somebody, if so, let me tell you something. If somebody <laughs> gets in an interview and says Tana joined the Illuminati, I'm not gonna get on the interview. I mean, I'm not gonna get on Instagram the next day and say, oh, let me tell you something about Tana. But. <laughs> But you're not a rapper either. Uh, okay. <laughs> if somebody said you're not Tana, a rapper either. If somebody said Tana joined the Illuminati, I'm not gonna get on a podcast you, either. You would podcast. No, I would not. So you dog. wouldn't get up on a podcast and say you're not in the Illuminati? Uh, I be, if y'all believe I'm in Illuminati, believe it. Hell no. Believe it. No. Hell no. I'm not gonna get on live and, and podcast either. You ain't gonna get on live, but you're definitely gonna address it on the podcast. 
Nah, bro, I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> You're not going to get on the podcast and not say nothing about it. it. It may be even so, I don't give a fuck, but you're going to address it. I feel like Ludacris addressed it the way the way he's known how to address it. He's a rapper. Mm-hmm. It was it was mis- it was odd. It was odd as fuck. It and get, nobody it, was listening to that. Why it would gave, you do that? It gave Papa. That's what it gave. <laughs> it gave, he's telling the truth. It it gave, uh, we we're going to battle this like men it, it, with a freestyle. It gave the messages deep within. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't want to believe it, but nothing, nothing surprises me. No. When, and when he said, "I've been invited to a Diddy party twice," you got to tell him no. <laughs> you've got to tell him no. I'm like, everybody been saying this too. Like you got to tell Diddy no. You had to tell this nigga no. I'm not. I don't want to go. Would you go? Would I go to a Never Diddy mind. party? Never mind. And my low key Dennis take that out. <laughs> <laughs> take that shit. <laughs> Cause it's a big fuck no for me, bro. Oh yeah, it's wrong, wrong nah, time. No. I really don't want to go nowhere where y'all getting too goddamn freaky for yeah, me. Hell no, nah. I just I like regular stuff. Yeah, I, a little weed. Pull out some hen dog or a four loco. You know what I'm saying? I might be cool with a little X pill party or something yeah, I'm like cool that. Cool with a little shroomies. Something regular, you know. But y'all niggas start playing with y'all veins. <laughs> yeah, y'all start doing real drugs. You got a doctor and- in there to revive people. Oh. And no. you, hell yeah, and, and y'all over there uh, doing STD testing at the door and all. Like, I, I know it's going to go down. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> I might be all right. I, yeah, I'm a, I, I listen. I, I, I feel like I'm about to be pressured to do some shit. Hell yeah. Oh, want to do, like, you, you don't want to do shit. But you get, I'm like, what well, shit is And it? I'm seeing toilets and shit just out in the open. Oh, yeah, no, and I'm a, cool. And a face attached to the bottom of it. Like, hell yeah, like, I'm cool. Man, I'm, we have... Listen, it took one time at a weird nigga house for me. You know what I'm talking about? Weird Halloween. Man. Oh, when he started playing porn? <laughs> Whoa. What are you talking about? <laughs> what, wait, what are you talking about? We were at a certain nigga house, and that nigga started playing porn. And we were all like, whoa. Was it huh? high school? Yeah. Oh, no. Nice. <laughs> Nah, because that nigga thought it was going to turn into a threesome. Yeah, we huh? were all like, whoa. All right, whoa. Orange Crush. Nah. <laughs> nah, we ain't came here for all that. The, the adult one, the police was like. Oh, the, the almost shooting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm I have, I've had one encounter in a weird nigga house, and and I'm okay. I, I see the signs, and now I'm like, you know what? I followed the girl. I, I, I knew it that night, boy. <laughs> I fucking knew it. Hell. Remember I told you, I said, bro, this nigga listening to us. You did say that I'm I'm over there, Billy Badass. Hell uh, yeah, fuck that shit. I don't nigga. give a fuck shit. You gonna listen. Yeah, he I'm like, like, bitch, shut the and fuck he pro- up. And he probably like, I don't like them loud, my fat, black, dark ass bitches. No way. You invite yeah. these bitches to my pristine white house. Hell yeah, I'll shoot these hoes. <laughs> shit. Hey. Hey. <laughs> You got Maybe it. one day we'll tell that story, child. <laughs> no, we're gonna tell, we have to tell it on the Patreon. Hell yeah. Cause that's a, Sorry, that, girl. <laughs> Cause that's part of my story now. Hell yeah, I was there. I was there. I was a victim. Uh, yeah, we gonna tell your part. We are gonna leave you out of yeah, it. Yeah, but we we are gonna have to say how it escalated. We was affected too. But I look, that was part of my story too. Hell yeah, shit. Nigga, I had nerve damage. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? And I remember sitting there and being like, "Why the fuck is Brittany finna go back in that house?" Yeah. That house then turned into uh, a house of Call of Duty Modern Warfare Three. <laughs> <laughs> what a how a haunted house! <laughs> and look, that nigga shut all the lights off. And look, I realized I ain't have my keys and nothing else. And I was like, "Fuck, I'm far from home. I'm a single mother. Maybe if I can plead, maybe I can plead with his humanity." What did you tell a nigga with a gun to let him let you back in the house? I said, "Hey, I don't want no problem. I just want to get my keys." And I'm like, "He's like, you got five minutes. No, oh, no, no. He said you got thirty seconds." Cause I'm like, I was like, hey, hey, I'm finna leave. I'm surprised he opened it. Me too. I, I'm surprised I ain't hear the. <laughs> <laughs> I said, hey, I I just want to get my keys, and I I, I promise you, I'm gonna leave, and I'm gonna get everybody else to leave. I just want to get my keys real oh, quick. Oh, that's what got him. Everybody else. Yes, yeah, I just want to get my keys. He's like, you got 30 seconds, or I'm gonna start shooting this bitch. And I I you this I was 100 pounds heavier at that time. <laughs> 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 I'm grabbing. I was like, I don't know who this is, but I'm gonna grab it. I'm taking. Like, ain't nobody getting an opportunity to get back in here. Hell nah, that nigga shut that house down. And 
<laughs> bro. All right. <laughs> and I remember sitting outside and being like, she gonna make it out. <laughs> God, he gonna... He gonna let him come back out. He gonna hold a hostage. He gonna he gonna turn him into a hostage. Fam, when you came walking back down them steps, I said Pretty I was jogging. I won't walk in. I was like, I said, hurry up. You gonna shoot me in my back? Hell <laughs> <laughs> like oh, yeah, see, I came with yeah. All he gotta say is I was trying to beat his ass. Hell yeah, girl. That and you was... on his property? And and I was, but I was I won't call, listen. I ain't want no problems. After I tried to stop him from getting the the, the fire piece in the first place, I was like, oh, you know what? This this is how this is how stories this is how people end up on stuff. I'm telling you, uh, this, this, <laughs> I'm not dying on Halloween, girl. Fam, with my fam, I was my Lizzo costume. My whole ass was out. <laughs> I I ain't gonna go with my ass out. Oh, I would hate for my daddy to have to come find my body and they turn me <laughs> over. <laughs> <laughs> and my cheeks is out. Fam, I had my whole ass cheek out in them dress. I would hate for y'all to take me anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Just your luck, they gonna roll you out on your stomach. Hell yeah, my st- hell yeah. Hell yeah, no, I'll oh, keep it from losing blood. Roll on the stomach. And my whole, like, I'm in full Prince Mo ass, double cheeked up, fam. Ass out. <laughs> Bro, your daddy coming to identify you <laughs> off your ass is crazy. Girl, he, was, he, was, he was like, he's like, the hell? The hell? She, he like my daddy though, but like, fam, that is wild. Yeah, okay, I'm not dying tonight Mm-mm. in this outfit. I'm sorry. That's why I told him, I said, y'all, he finna get a gun. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Everybody, wrap it up. I don't give a fuck. Put the Casa Azul down. Put the lobster. What did, hold on, what did he say? <laughs> he said, let me go. Yeah. That nigga looked me in my eyes. Cause I was sitting there watching the whole debacle. <laughs> that nigga looked me in my eyes. He said, as soon as I get up, I'm getting my gun. I said, oh. <laughs> I said, oh. And you know, because he said he said it calm than a bitch. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, no, this is a nigga that's going to get a gun it, and use it. It was chaos all around. And oh, yeah, it, it was pure chaos. He said, get off me because I'm going to get my gun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was like, ooh. All right. Yeah. And I still think back to that day. And her sister saying, I'm going to stab this nigga. And I'm like, boy, we should have let her. Oh, we definitely should have let her. We should have let we we should have let her pull his head back. <laughs> we should have helped her. <laughs> we nah, now you're going too far. Nah, <laughs> nah we should have watched. <laughs> we should have let her pull that nigga head back and just We should have let her do it. Cause we would have really done we would have really done a service to the DFW. Hell yeah. We, we yeah. When she asked for a knife, we should have said, <laughs> slid it to her. <laughs> That's what we should have done. <laughs> That's what the fuck we should have done. Facts. Man, cause you know, you know look, another thing I'm low-key upset about? Because the nigga was like, y'all can take the food home. You were here down there lobster. I was like, fuck, I ain't get my plate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's black and fat as fuck. That nigga had so much fucking food <laughs> in that ugly ass house. Girl, that ugly ass empty house. Man, I was like, bruh. Hi, right, get me the fuck away from here. Who <sighs> cheers to us. Pratt. Yeah, for real. I think we made it. Yeah, for real, for real. All right, so I do have a hear ye, hear ye. Yeah. And then we finna get the hell up out of here. Yeah, because I feel like we've been going, boy. We've been potting. Yeah, for real. All right. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I've been with my boyfriend for eight months. Things have been going really well between us up until a few days ago. I'm from Central America, and he's American. He said he settled in my country because of work opportunities. We met in a coffee house where I worked as a barista. We clicked instantly and started going out a few weeks later. Everything was so good, and we had so much fun. Fast forward to last week, he asked me to help him with some documentation. I was happy to as long, to, as, long as you know my language is hard to translate. While I was online searching on his computer, I found some weird websites. <laughs> they were all about passport bros. Mm. I didn't even know that w- what the hell that was at first. Mm. And basically had tips on how to settle in foreign countries. Where to find a traditional bride, which countries had the most beautiful women, and I was shocked and confused. I know I shouldn't have done it, but I wanted to gain some clarity and check this profile on one of these websites. He has full on conversations about Eastern European countries, Asian countries, um, or how easy or hard it is to take him out on dates, if it would be better to settle down with an Asian or Central American. He decided to settle down in my country. <laughs> um, I feel dehumanized and like he fetishized me and the woman from my country. Also, our whole relationship has been built on a lie because he told me he settled down here before because he had a job offer. 
After I found all this stuff out, I took a few pictures as proof and then made up an excuse to come home. He tried to reach out a few times, but I told him I don't feel well and couldn't meet her right now. I can't even look at him. I feel disgusted. Am I overreacting? No, you're not. Absolutely Because that nigga not. is fetishizing you. Sure is. He ain't, he didn't, I mean, <clears throat> granted, you you may have clicked and stuff like that, but his his whole game was to meet someone like you. Mm-hmm. <coughs> <laughs> 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 Hold on, bro, you got my stomach hurting. That girl, that girl said, <coughs> talk. Oh. I don't even know what the fuck to say. <laughs> Sorry. I know I couldn't get nothing else out. It'd be weird for you to stop in the middle of that sentence. And I said, oh. I'm sorry. Girl, get rid, of, get rid of him and go home. You said what? Get rid of him and go home. I'm going to take in your ham, 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 uh, hammock and go home. Go, go home. Yeah, let him be somebody else's pro. Yeah, girl. Password bros, they <laughs> girl, leave, leave him alone. And you, he's I, nothing. Yeah, don't worry about him. You're you're you good. Yeah, honestly and truthfully, there's so many men who think like him, and mm-hmm. and nobody, nobody should feel like I'm only with you because I feel like you're easier or you're an easier woman to deal right. with. And or, if that's the case, then you need to only be with him for one reason. I hope he has money. I mean, he had a job, but I don't mean shit. That don't mean a goddamn thing. Niggas, <laughs> niggas be having jobs and be stingy as fuck. Niggas be rich and stingy. Man, like that girl working at three jobs. She's a dumbass. Use him. <laughs> Use him. Yeah. I mean, if if if, it, if he provides and you feel so inclined to dehumanize him. Oh, he got to do more than provide. He got a trick. Well, you dehumanize him. Shit. Make me your pay pig. Yeah. <laughs> what? I feel like that doesn't. You got to be a certain kind of man to like that. You got to, that kind of man there, you got to use him without him knowing. You got to use him without his, like, you got to use him so good that he don't know he being used. Ooh. That's what you got to do with those kind of men. You got to take full fucking advantage of him. Mm-hmm. Let him think he's in control. That's perfectly fine. Mm-hmm. He's not. Fair. But let him think it. Mm-hmm. And you take him for a fucking ride. Hell yeah. And you enjoy every second of I it. I enjoy 90 Day Fiance. Or is it 90 Day Fiance? Mm-hmm. When they be just they be out there causing them in hell. And I'm like, this is what you yeah. thought you was escaping to. Yeah. And yeah. they over here, they over here now you broke. Yeah. Your hair falling out. And what's the one he should keep trying to take that ugly ass hat off him? Oh yeah, Gino and Jasmine. That's immediately who I thought of. Yeah. Have at it. Because Jasmine looked like the moment she get a green card. Oh no, she- and she deserves it. Facts. We're dealing with that. Oh. She deserves it. There's a few of them on there. I'm like, give them a green card already. Hell they yeah. fuck. They don't work hard for that Facts. shit. Facts. Give it to them. Facts. Take advantage of them. Use them. If you're not going to use them, just leave them. Yeah, because somebody else is. He's honestly. using you. Very much so. He's using you for your Central American. Yeah. Yeah. Not other shit. So He's using it. you for your culture. Use him. Facts. Who shit, y'all? <laughs> Talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's my sister. Okay. Hello. Hey. Oh, okay. Let me call you back. I'm recording. <laughs> okay. Bye. Okay. That's it, y'all. Yeah, that's it, y'all. We it's... happy to be back. Happy New Year. Yeah. Make sure. We, I mean, I should have told y'all in the beginning, but we got a whole Patreon full of content. If you want more podcasts. You can subscribe to the Patreon. It's five dollars a month. Mm-hmm. Extra shit on there. I can't wait for the upcoming year. I just, I just, this year I feel very optimistic. Like I said, this year came in swinging, but I, I feel very optimistic oh, yeah, about same. this year. I feel like this That's, is, I feel like this is. It's I'm, a great year. I'm having my way this year, in a lot of things. I yeah. feel like this is my year for some reason. So it's a great year for sure. All right. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you can always hit us up at Hear You Podcast at hearypodcast dot com. Not dot com. Or shit. Gmail. Not, yeah, Gmail. Shit. Not the dot com, <laughs> child. Or <laughs> Hear You Podcast on all social media platforms. Um, you can find me on IG at Huda underscore Breezy B R E E Z Y. And where can I find you at? And of course, you guys can find me on Instagram at Tana Taught You. That is T A N N A H Taught You. All right, bro. You ready to get out of here? Yes. As always, shout out to everybody. We had fun and cheers to a lit 2024. Bye, bye. y'all.